Your hair is so good. I'm proud of you. Thanks. I'm not having that time to get a braided because I want to cancel on you. So. <laughs> <laughs> it looks very healthy. It's good. Damn, that hell is so okay. So you know what's crazy is like now, like recently, um, anytime I know my nail is not about to break. <laughs> no, look, this nail's heck of long. Oh, yeah. Like, for me, that's long yeah, for no, me. Yeah, that's long for me, too. Um, um, okay, so ever since on my birthday... Have I seen you since then? Since my birthday? The, no. Uh -uh, okay. Uh -uh. So, on my birthday, I got canceled on, like, getting my hair done. And so, ever oh. since then, anytime anybody's like, oh, my such and such canceled on me, I book them instantly. I'm like, well, I got your back. Because it's like, I know how that feels now. It hurts. Like, like it really does i like literally like almost told the radar i'm like you lucky it's not my birthday or something that you would have canceled on me on no for <laughs> you said like, it hurts oh god it's like the worst feeling ever it is and i was like you canceled on me oh yeah nah it's bad for you mm -hmm. so yeah one of one of my other clients well she was like such and such canceled i said pause first of all why are you going to somebody else that's number one <laughs> i shouldn't book you baby but i still booked her yeah. she's like it was my cousin i'm like okay it better, it better be cousin of, <laughs> cousin of or close of kin because why you cheating that's number one but um yes yeah, so i have i booked her instantly i was like nope i got your back because i already know yeah. that was like i felt like a bad breakup or something i was no. like are you serious bad, yeah. and then my husband was making it worse because he was like you're being hella dramatic it's like no you don't understand no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you don't understand yeah, like like it's it is definitely that serious especially when you oh, have like a whole look planned exactly because you know how we pick out our outfits yeah. and it's like no mm -hmm. this hairstyle is gonna fit with like yeah. this look that uh -huh. look yeah. yeah i was like it was it's very much serious very it's very much all right what's popping y'all we doing some large knowledge box braids hey happy birthday charity whoever charity is happy birthday to my sis i hope you turn turning 21 if not you still cool you said thanks for the streaming advice. You're welcome, girl. I'm not sure what adv what advice I gave you, but you're welcome. What's up, Toya? Get off the phone in traffic, sis. Um. So yeah. You can hang on to this one. Yeah, I be trying to um, I be trying to look out for my people now. Yeah. yeah. My mom got canceled on the other day, and I was like, well, I don't know why you're going to be swearing to people. No, bro. Did, did her braids ever loosen up? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, first of all, why did she not get knotless? That's the first okay, question. Okay, why did she go to... You know who she went to. Did Emily tell you? That's not like oxygen. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Emily... <laughs> Emily didn't tell me. She, <laughs> Wait, okay, so this is a funny thing. Okay, so when Emily hit me, because I have a new phone... Like, I didn't, I didn't have her number saved. So she hit me and was like, oh, can you help my mom fix my mom's hair or something? Like, she got these. She sent me a picture. And I was oh. thinking in my head, like, first of all, no. Like, why do you <laughs> think I would? Like, you know, I had an attitude in my head. And then when she showed up, I was like, oh, it was Emily. Like, but honestly, there was nothing I could do. Yeah, like, no. There really was yeah. nothing I could do. But <laughs> I was like, why Why would she not get knotless? Like, no. what was she thinking? Really? I was so confused. I was like, my mom's never gotten braids before, so I was like, yeah. Oh, uh, so you think it was like actually tight, or you think it was like, I don't you know, when know. you first get your braids done and that's, they're tight? That's the thing that I was worried about. I was like, since you went to, you know, who you went to, I'm like, I don't know if it's like actually really tight and you like do need to take it out because it could be like pulling on your like hair. Yeah. Or like if it's just you need to get used to it. But now I think like she's chilling. Like she sent me some photos and it was like, she's happy. Oh, she's so. relaxing. Yeah. Yeah, it was probably this. I was like, did she get knowledge? And she was like, no. First of all, did it even look right? Okay. Those braids are big. Okay, yeah. I'm going to show you what it looks like now. Because now it looks cute. But okay. At but first, at first, they weren't, like, relaxed. No, you know what I'm talking about? Like, yes. hella stiff. Mm -hmm. I was worried at first. They curled the ends? Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. They look cute now. I'll show you. Oh, yeah, they're cute. No, yeah. Now yeah. they look better. They look neat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they yeah. look good. What did I do? But, no, at the moment, I was like, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> like, she sent you a picture? Because you weren't there. Yeah, and then my dad texted me, and he was like, can you send your mom some advice? Like, she's really going through it right now with her hair. <laughs> I'm 
like it was probably just what is like, happening it was probably just hella sore god yeah she's like Katie, i can't even sit down i can't put my head in what i'm like <laughs> not your mama being like this you know when you first get your braid bruh i can't stand when i do somebody's hair god. let me tell you this i can't stand <laughs> I can't stand when I do somebody's hair and, like, they acting like they can't move their neck. Like, really? you know it's not that tight. Relax for this picture. They be in your picture <laughs> like this. Like this with no neck. Like, relax your shoulders, bruh. God. Like, I know I don't braid that tight. I braid tight, but come on. But really, I know. Or it's like, at least fake it for the video. Stop <laughs> playing with me. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> but that sucks. But they look cute now, though. Yeah. That's her, um, that's her vacation style? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mom said I'm gonna switch it up. Yeah, I was like, okay. Period. That's what's up. All right, what's up with y'all? Oh, y'all just talking about whatever. It's seven thirty-three. What time is it? What time is it here? It's probably like four. It's probably like four thirty-three. These have to be hefty cute. I'm actually okay so actually all of y'all you and the people on live can help me decide my next hairstyle okay so I was thinking about doing you know like a half up half down sewing yes I'm actually yeah wait wait why you get that wait, no. you about to you about to I'm, not, I'm doing something similar never mind go ahead go ahead sorry my bad it's, wait. it's similar it's not even the same thing wait what you about to get remember what you did for emily with the sewing in the back and the braids in the front yes I'm that's hella that. popular now yes i'm about to do that for my birthday but okay i want i'll show you the braids later because i don't know if i'm gonna see it on live when i do it but you know i'm hella <laughs> wait wait why my client say she gonna show me the braids later because she don't want to want one of y'all to see it and do it so you trying to be one of one yes I'm hecka done. I'm trying to get it done, but I don't want to, you know, it's like get it done and then everybody. Uh, okay, you you want to be the only one rocking yeah, it. Exactly. Okay, you I'm stupid. Not everybody can do them. But... <laughs> Wait, when's your birthday? Um, August twenty fourth. Damn. Yeah, it's a while away. I'm, I'm hella done. I still got time to think about it though. That's you want to No, you one of them planners. You a planner? I I'm turning twenty one. I have to. Girl, oh yeah, no, yeah, yeah. you gotta exactly. be. You gotta be right. You gotta yeah. be right. You right. You right. Okay, well, okay, so I was going to do a half up, half down sewing. I've seen a picture of this, but I can't remember where. But, like, in a bob, though. But, like, curly. Not, like, curly, curly, but, like, I curl it myself. You know? I feel like that would be a hit. Or I was about to do large knotless, like, basically what you get in. But short, though. Like, with beads. Like, maybe, like, right here. Like, right here. I don't want them hecka long. Okay, both of those I've never seen. So, but I mean, because, like, I always I get straight back. I always get straight back. Yeah. So, what y'all thinking? What would be a hit? The knotless or the half up, half down? They said, y'all accents are so pretty. We got an accent? <laughs> I'm like, oh, we different. <laughs> what do we sound like? Really? Because, <laughs> huh? They're going to be like, there Bay Area girls. I no, I don't think anybody ever told me I had an accent. Nobody's ever told me that. I'm they, actually. Sometimes they tell me they're like, I can tell you from California, but. But I feel like that's like the lingo. Yeah. Or like. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. we say like or hella. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. Both those hairstyles are really cute though. You know, I just had a bob. You said a small knowledge bob with beads. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I could do that though. Yeah, I'm like. Wait, um, you said you had what? I had a bob. Oh, did you? Yeah. I'll like a, you. yeah, let me well, see. Well, it was like a heck of a heck of a short bob, but like, yeah, it was short though. I feel like a half up, I can't talk. A half up, half down bob would be cute on me, but I don't know, like, just all a bob. Like, I'm not ready for that. I'm just not. I'm not fully ready. Oh, yeah, that's cute. It's yeah. like a long bob. Okay, not what you posing. You think you're cute or okay. something? You know, I got a pop out down there. <laughs> That was a Vegas? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was cute. You be partying on the strip? Sometimes. Not that much. Not time. really? Not really. Yeah. It's like people that live there don't do that, huh? Yeah. That's like touristy. If someone comes to visit me, like I'll go with them to the strip, and that's really like kind of cool. You, you don't know you have an accent until you travel somewhere and you talk different. No, for real. That's fucking true. I like southern accents. Yep. Mm-hmm. I'll be like, dang, I wish I sounded like that. <laughs> I just sound like this. <laughs> like... Come on. Don't tell me I have an accent. Now I feel foreign. <laughs> Look, now I'm trying to talk with my accent and stuff. <laughs> I'm different. 
Where did you get those hairstyles from? Like, did you just come up with that yourself? Or... This is hairstyles I was yeah. talking about? Girl, sometimes I just be on Pinterest or oh, Instagram okay. and I'll see stuff. Oh, but I just want to do something different. I've seen that, I think, actually. Yeah. Not I'm not trying to be, like, influencer-ish. Especially since I'm about to go to L.A. Like, I feel yeah. like I need to just really tap into my, like, yeah. influencer vibes. So, I'm like, you know, I need to do something different. I think you should do both. Do, like, the Nautilus one in June and then do the other one when you leave. Yeah. Exactly. Hannah, baby, you're amazing, baby. Girl, thank you, boo. You said, what's the best accent? New Orleans. People from New Orleans. Mm-hmm. They, I love the way they talk. They be like, baby. <laughs> and I be like, what's up? Yeah, I love, I love. Exactly what's your favorite? Like no, I like New Orleans too. New Orleans. They go crazy. It's not fair. Like, why people in California didn't talk to like a little tang or something? I'm like, we ain't got nothing. We don't got nothing. We sound proper. Mm-hmm. All my friends from the South, <clears throat> that's what they used to tell me. Like, you sound hella proper. Mm-hmm. Yeah, or my friends are telling me, they're like, well, you talk correctly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, good English. Yeah. Like, I need to start cutting my words off or something. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. I'll show you in a second, Tabitha, how I add hair in. You love New York accents? No, nah, I don't rock with them. I just don't like dudes from New York. They're just a little too cocky for me yeah. for no reason. It's they like... Be hard. Yeah. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. I used to... um date a guy from new york well i wouldn't say date but you know <laughs> friends with the v word benefits i can't say that because i'm married but you know but he i just don't like their attitudes I don't like that. did you watch the circle um season one okay i would say the guy on there with the um with the accent the jer- he was from jersey though wasn't he oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah i don't yeah, like yeah, the accent either. it's yeah, not no, it's i don't not, either i don't want that i don't yeah yeah don't talk to me Thank you for sharing your time to the world. Oh, you welcome, Kai. You the best. Yeah, who graduated this year? Period. Shout out. You like ATL accent? I feel like y'all just sound like y'all from the South. It's yeah, not nothing it's special. Really, I'm sorry. And honestly, sometimes y'all don't even really have an accent like that. Like, yeah. It's not really too, you know. You know what really did mess my head up, though, is like when I went to the South and like seeing Asians with like accents. Okay, I haven't seen that. Really? I've like when you talk to like that. an Asian person and it's like they got an accent and you like I hold up. Like uh, Jamaican accent is the best. I can't really understand then. Oh like when God. they be like talking fast. I know. Yeah. I What's up, Tamika? I see you. This is like the first time I've ever seen your comment, period. <laughs> she said, My cousin graduated recently, period. Stand up and let me see how long these are. Because I know you tall. I don't know. We might need to. Oh, these will be like right above. Okay. That's cool. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Y'all, she going to Hawaii, you know, so she got to get that little. <laughs> it can't be short. You got to be on the. Uh... Y'all going to the beach, oh, right? Man. No. Yes. What? Yes. Oh. Yes. Oh, it was like, no. Yes. No. Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Why do people be doing that? No. Yeah. Yes or no? <laughs> Pick one. Yes or no? I was about to say what? You're like, huh? No? Yeah, you gotta get you. You got some cute bathing suits? Mm-hmm. Fashion okay. over or what? Um, Pretty Little Thing. Dang, I'd be um, nervous. Wait, is Pretty Little sure. Thing the one that has like the weird sizing? Yes. I'd be nervous you, for that. Yeah. What? What? Uh-huh. That stuff be fitting on? It's hit or miss. Cause uh, I ordered a couple things in the same size and it's completely different. Dang. So it's really hit or miss. Like, yeah, I'd be nervous. Some of the bathing suits is like kind of off. But. Yeah. Fashion Nova be a hit every time. Mm-hmm. It's just those bathing suits, like, my body just ain't. Well, first Nova of all, ones? this is where I fucked up. Yeah, for my birthday, I bought three Fashion Nova bathing suits Ooh. that, like, I already knew it was for somebody who had a BBL, but I still bought it. I and it that. just, it was not giving. I was like, this is not how it looked on the, uh, the picture. <laughs> but one of them was hella cute, though, so I wore that every day. Yeah. I wore that every day, but... Oh, you must be hella cute. I'm not jealous. I'm gonna be living through you. You don't be posting. <laughs> so what are you taking pictures for? Cause you don't. I feel like you never saying. post. She's you like, never you know, post. I'm taking them for me. For you. For me to look at later. I'm heck of that. <laughs> Emily don't be posting. Well, she be posting, she be but like, she be posting and deleting. Yeah, I know. You be pissing me off. I feel like that's like a younger kid thing. Mm-hmm. Like they only want six pictures on their Instagram or something. Yeah. Y'all about to be taking hella photos. Oh, I know. I'm about to be a whole photographer for the next like week and a half. 
for her. Yes. <laughs> she be getting on your nerves with that. I try not to do it too much because I'm just like, I can't handle it. Like, no, I'm not taking no more pictures. You got to yeah. take her photos, though. I know, exactly. I know, I do. So. Y'all actually got activities planned? Or y'all just doing whatever? I don't know if we have any activities planned. Like, last time we had activities, but I don't know. Honestly. Oh, this ain't your first time going? Mm-mm. Oh. Before, but it was like mm, three, four years ago. It was a minute ago. Yeah. Girl, it's about to be hella hot. And humid, mm-hmm. stinking and funkin', funkin' and stinking. Mm-hmm. Panda, what's up? What's up with my sis? Can I have a shout out and subscribe? Duh, Maddie. Like what? You don't even gotta ask for that, sis. London accent and Australian accent. Okay, y'all going too far. We talk about the, the United States. <laughs> oh God, Actually, like those accents get on my nerves. I'm not gonna lie because like when I be trying to watch shows and they have like Australian accents, oh, it's like I don't got time. Yes. I'm like I don't have time for that. Mm-hmm. Down. Um, some of my shows. You watch like Love Island? Yes. You watch the um the new one in Las Vegas? Or yeah. One? Yeah, yeah. You I watched it? it? Yeah, I didn't finish it though. I got like three, four episodes from the end. <sighs> you been on my nerves. Okay, well, who's your favorite couple? Are you gonna finish it? I want to. Who's your favorite couple? Um. Okay. Well, I got Actually, Johnny and Sally. Yeah, but he was getting on my nerves towards the end. You know, once he switched over that. Yeah. 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 Uh huh. Yeah. Who else is there? Oh, I liked, um, what's his name? Caleb. I love him. Mm. Yeah, I like him. And That's not a good... Mm. Oh. If y'all watch Love Island, really? if y'all watch Love Island, drop Red Hearts in the comment section right now. Not the UK one. We talking about the American <laughs> not one. Not the UK one, really. No, they're, I heard they're better, but I just I can't get through too. the accents. Mm-hmm. Um, I can't get through the accents. But I said, mm, because I don't want to tell you. I don't want to tell uh, you. you he's watch a really it. good person, though. He's not, though. Dang. Okay. He got he got exposed That's after the scary. show. Oh, like what's her name on? <laughs> like who? What's her name on The Bachelor? Who? You know the main girl. You Claire? know all the stuff that happened with The Bachelor. Claire? No. Oh, you talking about yeah. the Black Bachelor? The Black Bachelor. Oh, you should. But good. one of the girls ended up being racist, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What she do? She went to like a Antebellum party. Yeah, to Bell on, like the old slave plantation. What? She was like a party that was on a slave plantation. Wait, recently or? No, like when she was in college. Yeah. But she didn't know. Did really. she change? Like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Just, like who she is. I don't know. Sometimes, okay, look, this I'd be really feeling about some of this stuff. Not like I ain't never. Um, I I've, I've never been like racist, but like sometimes, like when pe- when celebrities be getting like canceled for shit, I be thinking like I've said worse shit than that. Like, or I've done stuff, mm-hmm. like, I've done stuff that, like, if it resurfaced, but it's not, because it's not, I didn't write it down. But, like, you know, sometimes I'm like, give them a break, bro. Yeah. Like, they did that in high school. But the racism stuff, nah, that's yeah. a little. That's, <laughs> that's in, a little. That's embedded in you. Yeah. Uh-huh. Like, that's kind of, that's a little deep, but I didn't watch that season. I don't know why I didn't. You should watch it. It's that's pretty season. good. It's not, like, amazing. But bro, like, did you watch the season, the, you watched The Bachelorette? The new one? Like, um, the thing that just started yesterday? Oh, I didn't even know it was a new one. I, yeah, I'm talking I about the one with that. Claire. Uh-uh. Oh, that was actually a good one. I heard, yeah. I, heard that. I don't really watch it, but that was good. But I tried to watch another season, and I was like, yeah, this is boring. Oh, okay. So, yeah, but that one was good. <clears throat> I'm ready for a new season of Married to First Sight. Girl's about to start. I think they're going to Texas. Oh, I know. Everybody's going to Texas, I swear. Yeehaw. They going to Texas. I love Married at First Sight. Did she ever say when she doing a live with China? <laughs> um, actually, probably pretty soon, like within the next couple of days. Because, you know, she just got back from vacation. Y'all was working on my taxes and stuff, so I've been hecka busy. Because, baby, the government is trying to get me for all that I got. <laughs> <laughs> and I try to keep some of my coins. So I've been, I've been burrowed away working on that. And I just finished yesterday yesterday night you know you said for real i love married at first first sight me too you don't watch that show huh mm, i haven't mm, i think i've seen an episode or two yeah it's good i could never do nothing like that oh okay. hell no Mm-mm. first of all my mouth is just too crazy okay. he'll probably be like divorced because <laughs> because <laughs> what no Lock and twist or oh jealous better. 
Honestly, I use both of them. Well, I don't know about lock and twist. I use lock in. I think it's different. But um, to be honest, like I use different products for different clients. It just really depends. Most of my clients, I've done their hair before, so I know. But depending on their texture, I might use one or the other. So I would, one, wouldn't really say one is better than the other, but sometimes like different products have different holds. So like, you know, if you might need something with like a stronger hold or something like that. Your school ends on the 18th, Ooh, uh -uh, girl. You supposed to be out already. <laughs> We've been doing hot girl stuff for <laughs> for two okay. weeks, and you still in really? school. You're still inside this. Get what did you use for for parting? Um, I'm using I'm using lock in today. This is what I'm using. I'll link it in the description section for y'all. It's kind of expensive. What gel do you use for a slick back on thick 4C hair? I would probably use this or Evolving Textures O gel. Yeah, I just started O gel. I love it. Yeah, I love it too. It's just hard to buy it in bulk now. They switched up the website on me. I was like, dang. But yeah. Oh, you got a pimple. Dang. So when do you go back to school? You out, right? Mm -hmm. So you live on campus or you got like your own spot? It's like across the street. We oh, okay. got to move into a house. So. Is it like off campus uh, student housing? Mm hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's what's up. Your roommate's cool? Mm hmm. Yeah. We're about to get a house, so. Okay, period. You know. Y'all think y'all grown? Y'all gonna be throwing parties? Are you serious? You don't strike me as like the party person. I know. <laughs> That's hella crazy. <laughs> you be getting lit? I be getting lit. Here okay. and there. Here and there. You know. That's hecka funny. I just could not imagine that. Yeah. I feel like you're hella quiet. That's why. But. I, know. I think it's the fact that I go to school out there, though. You know, it just kind of. It like switched it up a little bit. It brings out everyone, I feel like. That's hecka funny. I almost went there. Did I tell you, tell you that? Oh, I didn't know that. No. Yep, I got into there, and my dad hella wanted me to go there, because I don't think he wanted me to go to Hawaii. Yeah. It was more expensive and further away. Yeah. So he wasn't feeling that. And he was like, I'll make sure you have a car. He was hella bribing me. I said, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to run your pockets. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. But um, I had a friend who went there, and it looked hella fun. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah. It was litty. Yeah. I feel like I don't know if I could do the heat. But y'all don't be in it like that, huh? Yeah, no. Nah, like, I don't... Uh, like, all last week, like, I pretty much stayed inside. Like, I just got in my car. And How hot home. was it? It was, like, 109, 108. But next absolutely. week, it's about to be, like, 115. So. Absolute, absolutely not. No, absolutely not. Literally. Like, what? I was like, yeah, no. Nah, Why does it need to be that hot anywhere why? in the world? That's... Why? 115 degrees? Come on, why? Like, I could flat iron my hair with that weather. Why? Stop playing with me. That's too much. Yeah, that's exactly why I need braids. Yeah, hell no. Nah. That's crazy. Where do you live? I want to come get my hair done. Girl. Look, I live in uh, Antarctica. Because I'm not taking no client. No, I'm just kidding. I live in the Bay. I'll take you. <laughs> What's up, Gabby? She said not flat on here. I really can't because I need 450 degrees. But... That's hot, y'all. I can't. I can't do it. Panda one, can I pull up to the salon to help you break down? I don't have school anymore. Okay. Let me go ahead and book you. You said you're trying to be my assistant? Because I'll pay you, period. Is that what you're trying to do this summer? You're trying to be my assistant? I just want to go on I'm tripping. <clears throat> do you have recommendations for heat damage huh would you ever get an assistant yeah actually i'm going to like when i'm oh. going to my own spot for sure okay i just like for one like i'm just trying to be like done faster yeah i mean when your cousin like helped you like a while ago oh she helped you on your head yeah oh, okay it was, it was like a long time ago though but, like, i felt like i remember fast. was it the, it was the gray braids right yeah the silver ones yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, I'm just, and also I'm not going to be working as much. Like, I'm only going to be working two days. So, I'm just going to, you know, I'm trying to get as many people yeah. in as I can. Yeah. Um. So, but I will for sure. 
I would for sure hire an assistant. I just feel like it's hard to find reliable people. Yeah. And that's my whole thing is, like, I don't want to book a day out and then I'm stuck. Like, if somebody's like, oh, I can't come in, like, Mm -hmm. because I don't really cancel my clients like that. I don't really be doing stuff like that. So, it's like, I don't want to get, like, a bad rep or something like that, but... I guess I could do interviews. I'm just hella goofy. Like, I'm going to interview people. <laughs> hey, girl. So, can you rate? <laughs> can you rate or not? <laughs> you said Niobe's reliable. Does Niobe braid? She does not braid. I need somebody who can braid. Speaking of assistant, where's China right? China is my assistant, but, like, not hair, though. She could probably wash somebody hair, though. But I am not going to have China braid down. But she does everything else for me. That's my sis. You said, I can braid. Are you in the bay, though? Are you in the bay? I still have an issue with parting everyone's head. is difficult. Yeah, parting is... I, girl, sometimes I still struggle with parting. Parting's hard. Yeah, it is. How do you know? You know when I part my hair for sleeping. <laughs> I'm hella done. I'm like, when do you part your hair? When you part your hair for what? For sleeping. For yeah. sleeping? Yeah, for when I go to sleep. Oh. I like putting in like little dookie braids. Yeah. You be wearing hair natural? Mm-hmm. You know, okay. yeah, I have no choice sometimes. So. I'm hecka done. What you be doing, like a ponytail? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I meant like natural, like a twist out. Okay, I'll be doing that sometimes. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, I feel like I've never seen you do that. Yeah. Nah, I don't be doing it that much, but like, yeah. Like once a year type? Like, yeah, like, like, okay, maybe it's like six times. There we go. You know that? Okay, not, that's, that's good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's actually good. I mean, your hair is hella thick, so. It's just a lot of work. That's yeah. really why I don't do it. It's like a lot, so. Yeah, it's like it work. I used to hate doing them damn, like spending all that time doing a twist out and you take that's it out and you look stupid. Uh huh. That's literally, oh. And then you just end up throwing it in a ponytail? Yep. Yeah, that's out. It is, honestly. Yeah. <sighs> braid outs are better. Yeah, I used to, yeah. I used to do braid outs. Okay. I did, I started out doing twist outs, but then braid outs are just more defined for me. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. You said, hey, what's up, sis? But yeah, I feel like your hair, um, it's actually not bad. Like, you know? Yeah. So it now looks lighter. I mean, but you've been keeping it done, huh? Mm-hmm. Like between weaves and stuff? Yeah. Your hair be hecka growing in your weaves? Yeah, kind of. Mm-hmm, kind of. I think it's a deep condition that I do, like, in between, though, that would be really helping it. Yeah. Do any of them ever trim it? Sorry. Okay. Um, mm-mm. No, I don't trust them. <laughs> you like them. <laughs> <laughs> Now you're a little low maintenance, though. I feel like. Yeah. Well, compared to. Yeah. Your <laughs> sister. <laughs> Panna did the big chop. I did the big chop, girl. I will never do that again. Why? First of all, why the fuck did y'all let me cut my hair? I was looking back at pictures. Absolutely not. That shit was not cute. I will never do it again. My hair is heck long now. Yeah. But ugh. I feel like I'm glad I did it just to, like, know, like, that I would never do it again. But. Why not? Yeah, it's like, it's like, cool, I did that. I got that out the way. Mm Mm-mm. Can't do that again. Looking like somebody auntie. You look good with your haircut. Yeah, eventually, but it just wasn't giving. Maybe it was, like, the picture I seen. (laughs) I was looking through my Snapchat memories. You ever do that? Yeah. Oh my god. And I seen it. I was like, oh yeah. Hell no. I was looking like Uncle Boris. It was just not cute. It was really not cute. Been natural for four years now. My hair is in the middle of my back. I'm so happy. Okay, period. That was good. Give me an inch. Like, what? Or three or four. That's what's up. I love watching your photos on instagram and i love watching your videos on youtube and tiktok oh thank you girl you just be everywhere for me huh that's my type 
Hey, Panna. My TikTok is literally going viral. Okay, you've been uh, you've been on it with the. You know what would be making your TikToks go viral is because you be talking about them prices, and you know people on TikTok. As soon as you say something is more than twenty dollars, they ready to. Yeah. They they ready to fight. What? They be ready to throw them bows. Yeah, they not play. Right, Gabby yeah, said. Period, Donald. As it should. Right. Run him his numbers. Period. My hair was so long and I cut it and I love it. That's what's up. How can I enforce growth of my type for hair? How can I enforce the growth? I'm not sure what that means. I had to cut the perm on my hair so it should grow better now. I've seen people with perms like and relaxers that have long hair too. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's just a different type of, you know. You never had a relaxer, did you? I think... No. When you were younger, um, maybe? Yeah, I think I had a perm or a relaxer when I was younger. Dang. Can you undo them or no? A perm? Yeah. A relaxer? Can you undo it? No. Right. <laughs> Once it's up, it's stuck. It's not, it's like, it ain't no undo. You can cut it off. You got to grow it out. Oh, uh, that, that would be, that would be lit, but no. Yeah. That's just like heat really damage. Really like, once it's there, it's there. And it's not no... Why, you gonna try it? No. no <laughs> definitely not. The way you said it, like, no. like you wanna try it. Uh-uh. Nah, I was wondering, like, maybe, like, if you do, like, a texturizer or something, but that don't work, though. Yeah, but that's, like, like, I don't think a text, a text, I can't talk. A texturizer is not, like, as strong. Uh, like a relaxer, yeah. you know? Yeah, it's chemicals and all that. Yeah. yeah. I feel like I got a couple texturizers when I was younger. It's just, it just, like, relaxes it a little bit, but it's not, like... Yeah. But even that, I mean, it's not. I'm not going to college. I'm going to. You going to cosmetology school? Why not sure what school you going to? That's what's up. I feel like, I don't know why. I always like it better when um, men do hair. Like, I just feel like. Huh? I said they be heavy handed. They be heavy handed. So. <laughs> look. Look. Wife Satcher, don't be ripping out people's edges. Don't be one of them. Mm -hmm. But, like, I don't know. I just feel like when a dude is hecka good, like, an arrogant Tay versus, like, Show. other people yeah. is just, like, it's hella raw because he's a dude, you know? And I feel like it's just, like, a females who do hair. So when I see a dude and he's hecka mm -hmm. raw, I'll be like, ooh. How often should I trim my hair? It's been two years. Definitely more than that. I would say at least, like, if you're trying to stretch it, at least every six months. But I would say yeah. four to eight weeks you need to trim. But it also depends on what you're doing in your hair. Like, if you're wearing it out, if you're keeping it in protective styles, like, what you're doing. But two years is way too long. <laughs> way too long. They almost felt like you were halfway done until you pulled out the rest of the hair out the ponytail holder. Yeah, her hair is thick. <laughs> her hair is thick. The, 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 the. Do you take new appointments? I do. It just really depends on who it is, honestly. But I do. We were just talking about that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but y'all, I am about to move to LA July 1st, so I'm gonna need some models out there. So anybody in that area, <laughs> if you cute, sis, I'm gonna need you to pull up, sis. <laughs> Wait, bro, did you see that post I made? When no, I asked for a model, uh, people be laughing because on Instagram, I'll be like, I need a model for box braids. You must be cute. And they be like, you're hella me. <laughs> well, I mean, but I mean, I'm being serious. It's yeah. like, don't be raggedy trying to be a model. Like, get your life. You learning everything. That's what's up. Wait, why Snatcher? What school did you say you were gonna go to? I didn't. Um, I didn't see it. You moving, moving. I'm moving temporarily, just for a little bit. I'm just gonna go dibble, dibble, dabble in Hollywood. You know, pull up on Beyonce for a little quick minute, a little quick second. Are you going to Palm Mitchell? Which one are you going to? Cause, <laughs> cause it matters. Cause it matters, bro. Like sometimes I hate telling people because like people will DM me and be like, "Oh, what school did you go to?" Like I went to Paul Mitchell, but, but, and it's a big but. Cause that school, I thought it was gonna be prestigious. That school is ghetto as hell. Dang, I but didn't expect that. I feel like all um, cosmetology schools are kind of like that. It's just. It's tacky. Did you learn to braid in hair school? No, I didn't learn how to braid in hair school. I already knew how to braid. I was damn near teaching other people in hair school, but um, I did learn how to like cut. I learned how to color, like not 
like not to the level I'm at now. Like when you leave school, you definitely gonna have to take more classes or teach yourself how to do more stuff. It's like the bare basics. But I did learn like, you know, the basics of color and cutting, which is pretty much what I went there for. They don't really do, like they're not gonna teach you braids, they're not gonna teach you extensions, none of that type of stuff. Well, apparently they started, but I don't know how That's like. That's surprising that they don't teach you that. Yeah, like I was surprised too. Like, no, you have to take extra classes That's to learn crazy. stuff like that. Like classes you have to pay for. For my parts, I'm using knee braid. <clears throat> I just pulled this out. I wasn't using it at first, but I am now. But it's called, oh, here you go. It's called Knee Break Conditioning and Shiny Gel. I'm going to the one in Pleasant Hill, and they told me they were going to teach extensions. Okay, so they're going to tell you that they're going to do a lot of stuff that they're not going to do. So I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm just going to leave that right there because that's the exact school I went to. And they also told people that they were going to teach them how to do frontals and how to do this and that. Whatever you tell them you want to learn, they're going to be like, oh, yeah, we're going to teach you that. And they're not. But, you know, shout out to Paul Mitchell, East Bay. That's my school, period. That's where I went. I feel like you'll do good if you, like, apply yourself. You just have to, like, be, you got to be focused and not worried about what other people in there is doing and just focus on yourself. Otherwise, you're not going to learn because people be messy. That's all I'm going to tell you. Messy, messy, messy. Be messy in hair school. So are you gonna just um get a house out there in LA? Or? Yeah, so we're actually renting an Airbnb out. Um, it's cool. It's nice. It's modern. Yeah. Um, so we just gonna stay there for a month. I didn't even know you could rent an Airbnb for a month. I didn't know you could do that either. Yeah, and it's cool because it's like, I mean, honestly, it's like paying rent for a month. Yeah. So we're gonna keep our place out here. We're gonna um. Rent that place out there, us and our two dogs. And my two dogs. Yeah, I have two now. Oh. We're all yes. My husband got a freaking dog. How big is it? Um, he's like medium size. He's not big. Oh. He's not big. He's just like it's just a lot. Like it's a lot. I believe it. Because um, you know my other dog was already mm -hmm. evil, <laughs> <He's> <laughs> so evil. he like is not. He just they don't get along. Oh. So it's like we have to keep them separated most of the time. And it's like when we don't, it's just hella work. Like I'm not trying to do, but but um, Dre be taking care of it. He really be the ones watching them, like that. So yeah, I think she posts her lives. I do post my lives. As long as y'all hit the like button for me, I'm gonna post it. I'm gonna post it. But if y'all not showing me love, I'm not posting it. But I usually do. When did you start braiding? I was really young. Came out the womb doing feed ins, period. <laughs> I was probably, I was actually hella young. I don't really remember, to be honest. Like, it was never, like, it never was like a day where I was like, aha, I know how to braid. <laughs> it's just like, I just grew up knowing how to do yeah. hair. Yeah. yeah. My fam, most people in my family on my mom's side um, can do hair. So, now my dad's side, <laughs> that's a different story. <laughs> that's a different story. But my mom's side, my cousins did hair, my mom did hair, so I just grew up around it. I'm excited for these. These are gonna be cute. You never had these? Uh uh. Well like remember you did like big knotless, but they had curlies at the end? Mm. They were brown. Oh, I feel like I do remember yeah, that. Yeah, so I feel like that's kind of the same thing that I'm getting right now. But Yeah, but the bees hit different though. Yeah, exactly. These were like hecka popular for a minute. I know. When uh when mm -hmm. Emily got it? Yeah. Yeah. This like all people used to want. CJ, his girl Tata in jail for scamming him. What the hell is y'all talking about? Tata. CJ and Tata? Are those YouTubers? I never heard of them. Not me either. CJ and Tata. What y'all talking about? What y'all talking about? You want what's so bad? Have you ever used Magic Finger Shiny Gem? Yeah, I used to use it all the time, actually. Um, sorry, I'm turning my live chat on. Um, I used to use it all the time, but um, the products I'm using now just have a little bit stronger holds. And um, so I just switched over. I don't really use Shiny Gem anymore. It's kind of like greasy to me. 
ever since I like tried other things. So, but if that's all you have access to, I think um, I like the Magic Fingers um, Shine and Jam, the red one. And I also used to use the green one literally all the time. So either one of those will be good. They're a lot cheaper than the products I use. So if you're looking for something affordable, I would go with those. Oh, you want Nautilus so bad. I feel like I do too, but I feel like when I get them in, I'm going to be like, I'm so wishy-washy, y'all. Keep up your work, girl. Thank you. Have you used Sweetie's Edge Control? Yep. I sure do. I use it all the time. That's my go-to. I got it in my cabinet right now. See, nowadays, hairstyles don't last because y'all put so much gel. Okay, Elizabeth. <clears throat> my hairstyles last, so I'm not sure what, um, I'm, I'm not sure what your stylist is doing. But all my hairstyles last. You never, um, Gabby, you never got knotless? It's probably because you do your own hair. You got hella hair, Gabby. Oh, y'all don't have to block, you don't have to block Elizabeth. What are you using to define your parts? So I'm using um, Evolving Textures O oh, Gel. Oh no, I'm not. I lied. Wait, I'm hella lied. <laughs> I'm using I'm using Knee Braid to define my parts, and I'm using Lock In for the root. Yeah. And somebody just asked me if I use Magic Fingers. I just answered that. I've used it before in a lot of my videos. I actually did a couple of videos for it. I'm an Aries. Why? Am I kind of crazy? <laughs> I would come in the camera, y'all, but I got three eyelashes. Look. So I'm not even about to let y'all flame me. You think your um, eyelash extensions pulled out your regular eyelashes or no? Mm-mm. Oh, okay. No. But the people here, like, I go to the lady next door. They're, like, really yeah. professional. Now, some, yeah. some lash artists, like, if you go into somebody's house or, like, I, that's one thing I don't play about. Hair, I feel like you could go to somebody's living room and they'll, like, do it. Yeah, yeah. And it's probably the same for, like, lashes, but I'm just, like, cautious because, like, I already wear contacts. Like, I just am hella nervous about yeah. them not doing it properly. Like, you're not going to mess with my eyes. I feel like I could cover up a bald spot, but, like, my mm -hmm. eyes, though? Yeah. Blind? No, really. Yeah, I can't take those chances. But, um, sh you know, she does it really good. I've had them done before by someone who actually came to my house with her bed oh, and stuff and they were oh, cute wow. but every time I got in the shower they would burn and so oh. I was like I, I like that was kind of like my first time getting an extension so I was like okay maybe this is like how it's supposed to be yeah yeah but then when I, she started doing it I was like wait my shit ain't burning no more <laughs> like so I don't know what she was doing wrong weird but you ever had them no really oh, I'm scared of the um of it pulling them out? Yeah. Nah, it doesn't. Unless you, unless you're like picking at them, like if you just let them fall out naturally, then you should be fine. But when you start trying to like pull them off, yeah, that's when you know I have done that before. Okay. That's when it'll take your lashes. It's the glue she used probably. That's what I was thinking. I was like, maybe she used too much, and like the steam was making it like trickle into my eyes or something. I don't know. I feel like flying to you to get my hair done. I'm all the way in Wisconsin. First of all, I didn't even know people lived in Wisconsin. Like, oh my God. Wisconsin? I know. I heard that last week. They were like, yeah, I'm from Milwaukee. I'm like, where is... I Milwaukee? Where like, yes. I forgot where it was even at. Dang, like, what do y'all do out there? Really? It just doesn't sound right. I don't think I've ever met nobody from Wisconsin. You're my first person ever. Where do you get your nails done and how much for each set? I don't get my nails done. I get my toes done though, but I can't. Um, yeah, I need. You gotta have the toes. You gotta have the toes done. Period. Especially it's summertime. Yeah, no. I need the white on my toes. You get white? Oh yeah, you got white. Yep. Mm -hmm. You know what they say about girls with white? <laughs> <laughs> hey queen, I'm in Milwaukee too. Milwaukee, that's just crazy. How long does not list braid supposed to last? I feel like it depends on the size, but even with large, I feel like you could get it. You could get four weeks. Oh my! Uh, oh yeah, you can get like a month. <laughs> yeah, you could for sure get a month out of some good not list, like the large ones. So you know the small ones. I have some clients who leave it in too long. It's like at this point, I really need you to take your hair down. Like, but. Do you ever buy them here? Yeah. I really like use it. Yes. Oh, yeah, well, I feel like you never made I mean, it. I don't know if it's like, yeah. <laughs> you 
Is that where you're laughing? Oh, because the color? Yeah. No, nah, yeah, you're good. It's just straight ahead. That's hella funny. I was like, mm-hmm. what? <laughs> oh, now I'm going to talk to y'all. Uh, and you show how you add in the hair. I want to see it really up close. I struggle. Yeah, I will. I just had to scooch y'all back because I had to put my phone on the charger. Let me actually see if I could get the extension cord, though. Um, Because I just had to back y'all back for a second. Back's back. Oh, here we go. Perfect. Let me see if I'm charging. Yep, we good. We charging. You from Houston, Texas, baby. When you come into Maryland, I'm actually about to be coming out there pretty soon this year for sure. Mm. Pana, I wanted to tell you thank you for sharing your knowledge about braiding. I know I'm a beginner braider. I have ne- I was never able to perfect it. That's what's up. You're so welcome, y'all. Y'all, July 1st, I'm dropping something on my YouTube channel that y'all are going to be so excited for. Um, I'm still working on it, but for anybody trying to learn how to braid period i got you covered i just put my phone on the charger that's what's up hey i'm a braider as well and i'm just starting on box braids any stuff and oh and stuff do you have any advice um let me think what do you struggle on that would be my question because i feel like there's just so much that goes into making box braids but my advice would be make sure you're using a a high quality braiding hair even if you have to make your clients bring it because that's really gonna change the way that your um styles are looking so like it'll help you not have as many flyaways it'll be easier for for you to braid and it'll be better on your fingers in the long run so do that and also try not to like rely on product like i know when you're a beginner and like you want your stuff to be tight you use a lot of product but try to learn how to braid without product and then just use the product to like enhance stuff so like try to get a super straight part before you put the product on there to define it, if that makes sense. Because sometimes like putting too much stuff is actually gonna like hurt the style more than help it. So yeah. How long does it take for hair to dry when you do the AC V rinse? I usually do it the day before, so it takes a whole day. But like, honestly, you can go over it with a blow dryer. Just try not to put it too close because it'll actually straighten the hair out, which has happened to me before. But if you just take a blow dryer, um, you should be good. There's been a couple times where it had it didn't fully dry, so I braided my client's hair with it. It was just damp, which, I mean, nobody really honestly can ever tell. You just want to make sure it's not soaking wet. And also, if you hang it up, like, I used to lay my, um, my hair out on a towel to dry, but if you actually get, like, a hanger and hang the hair over it and then just put the towels on the floor, it'll dry a little faster. Not as matching with this Shein shorts, you see me? Now what you know where I buy my clothes? This is Versace, so stop playing. How did you? How do you string beads to braids? I can actually show you today. I was going to use my beater and be lazy, but I can show you at the end. But basically, if you're not going to be here till the end, you're going to take the string. You're going to tie... Well, okay, let me do this first. You're going to take the string, and you're going to tie a bead at the bottom. That's going to stop the beads from falling off. And then at the top, you're going to do a loop. And that's what you're going to put the hair through and pull. Yeah. Oh, you love. Cool. I, got you. I know that's right. Big bag. That's something not the Billy Dance. I haven't heard from her in a minute. Cardi B? Mm-hmm. I'm glad you said her from her like you don't. <laughs> <laughs> um, she didn't put out a song, huh? Uh-uh. Yeah, what's she been doing? Oh, Minding wow. her business, taking care of her kids. How about that? <laughs> um... I know she. No, she. She had up. Oh yeah. Up. Oh yeah. That's. that's I forgot about that. Yeah. Look, that's not enough. We need back to back. We need back to back bangers. Yeah, she had up. I think that's the most recent one, right? Yeah. I mm-hmm. love Cardi. She Nicki been back on her shit. That's I know. Back. I love Nicki, but I ain't really been feeling the new songs like that. I feel like sometimes, like, I don't know if y'all get like this, but, like, sometimes when I hear a song, the first time I'm like, yeah, I don't like it. And then after I hear, like, a couple more times, I'm like, okay, this is, I don't know if it's, like, my mood I have to be in or if it's just, you know? Yeah. So maybe I just need to hear him a couple times because I love Nikki. She's hella cute to me. 
And they've been gassing her lately. Like, my sis has been cute. So, what is y'all talking about? Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're picking and choosing when they like want to. Exactly. Exactly. Don't ever. Don't ever do my sis. <sighs> You like the old Nikki? I ain't gonna lie. I rock with the old Nikki a little bit more. Mm-hmm. But she trying, she's still trying to do her thing. I just feel like she, like, she's just like an old school rapper to me now. Yeah. Like, I don't I know. know. Like, you know what I mean? Like, her yeah. shit just still, it still sound like back in the day. Uh-huh. Where it's like, you know, Cardi B is more like yeah. our yeah. time now. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm about to show y'all how I add this here in because I know one of y'all wanted to see. Let me see if I can get my camera to be still. There we go. Yeah, so if it's up, if it's up, if it's up, then it's stuck. That was my jam, though. No? It was good. Yeah, she did good with that. She did in the song. Oh, you be on TikTok? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. The little dances, they be hella yes. good. <laughs> <laughs> I was messing with the dances. All right, so we here. Don't worry about that. I'm sorry, I forgot your little spot was right there. <laughs> I'm sorry, wrong. I showed y'all the wrong braid. Let me hold on, cause I'm not finna do her like that. Let me zoom out. Let me zoom out. I'm about to show y'all on a different braid. <laughs> ah! I'm gonna show y'all on a different braid, okay? If it's up, if it's up, if it's up, then it's stuck. Are you gonna really like see the spot when the braids are done? You think or no? No. Nah. Okay. No, nah, it's just. I had zoomed in, so I thought like it was just hella right there. But nah, it's gonna be full. It's gonna be really cool. What made you wanna get orange? You were like, if they have, you just wanted something know. right? Yeah, it sounded uh, like, you know, vacation. It was thing. cute. It was like a cute idea. So yeah. she's putting beads on the end, y'all. She was like pink or orange yeah. or clear. But the orange, like, I like it. I like that idea. Yeah, I was just yeah. curious. So I'm like, that's hella random. Mm-hmm. Like, no, you got a couple really outfits random. or you just was like. No, I was just like, it's vacation vibes, I feel like. Cause it's yeah. Like, you know? Oh, yeah, like the orange, yeah. green side vibes. Uh-huh. Yes, yeah. pop out. Ah, I feel it. I was like, that's like a random, but it would actually be cute. <laughs> yeah. Has anyone, like, gotten orange braids from you before? Yeah, I've done orange braids before. Um. But not like not list. They were a uh, feeding braids, so it wasn't oh. as like. But I feel like orange is just hella out there. It's hella cute, but mm-hmm. you know, I feel like it's just kind of really out there. But um, yeah, you know, I like doing get colors, red. huh? Some people just get red if they want to get orange. I feel like. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Or even I feel like you know what I hella love is yellow. Like especially on that dark, dark, nice. dark skin. Yes, yeah, it yeah, looks hella bomb. Yeah. I don't be seeing that many yellow braids though. Me either. Like I, like, I see it really? online. Like I see it online, but not like. Yeah. Like it's not really a thing, you know. But I be thinking that's hella cute. That'd be a look. You only had silver, huh? And mm-hmm. browns. I remember I when y'all first. A long time ago. Do I remember when you first? I did the red. I don't know. No, I think I was like. So you cheated. Middle school. My friend did it. Like oh, she was okay. practicing. <laughs> so you so you cheated. Duh. Yeah. Um, what was I gonna say? I remember when you first got that brown and y'all like that was like a big deal. Oh you yeah, remember? Yeah. Did yeah, you do it first or did yes. Emily do it first? I don't it was probably Emily probably. I don't even know. I don't even know to be honest. Because I remember that and then hella another. people started getting it. Yeah. I was like, okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm just a something something. You just a stand out. I'm not seeing Nicki Minaj. Ooh, I'm sorry. It's okay. I've been seeing like um what's it called? Uh people will like accidentally like braid in the mask. Yes, I did that like, yesterday. Like a what? piece of, It's like cause it'll be right there. You'll pull like a piece of hair and then it just be like caught in there. Yeah. <laughs> We need more people out there to open businesses outside of Africans because no shade, but baby, the edges be gone, period. We was just trying to whisper about that. Mm-hmm. Really? <laughs> no, just trying to Not bad. The Africans, they do braid hella neat, but... They do, yeah. You know, sometimes it, like, annoys me. Like, there was a meme going around where it was, like, 
African braiders charge three fifty. American braiders charge this, and it's like I really just honestly hate being compared to them. Yeah, because it's like yeah, we're not the same. <laughs> like that's that's hella annoying. But I mean, I mean it's true. Like, they they braids be hella neat though. I'll be looking like they do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I have. Um, Yes, I have not Liz braids in, but they only lasted two weeks. Ooh, girl, what? what? I'm going to need my money back. Like a month? No, t- no. All mine lasted like at least two months if I wanted them. Right. Time. Like, what? Yeah. But maybe, I mean, if you go to someone who's a beginner and like maybe their grip ain't there yet and your hair is like thick, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, but y'all, no, y'all not Liz just, at le- baby, at least four weeks. Take the, um, can you take yeah. your mask off for a second? Mm-hmm. Um, like, you should get at least four weeks out of them. Come on. Now, if they're, like, hella jumbo, like, I, I'll understand. Yeah. But. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or maybe you're not tying your hair down. I mean, they could be, like, swimming a lot. That could have something to do with it. Are you swimming? Like, we coming up with all types of stuff. <laughs> Are you swimming? Are you eating in them? No. <laughs> Don't breathe too hard. Really? Your hair is going to pop out the braid. I'm gonna show y'all how to how to do a close up on a different side on the other side. But yeah, that sucks though. It does suck. Two weeks. Dang. Right, I'm two weeks. Like I braided in Atlanta and I charge my clients according to my experience because I've been braiding too long to be charging next to nothing. No, on God. Like all of that pricing stuff, I really don't care what people think or feel because I'm booked. So it's like. As much as people want to say what people don't pay, like, they do. I was literally just talking to her about that because we were talking about the whole TikTok thing. Like, the $700, like, it was it was a joke. Like, I, obviously, I don't charge that much. But I was telling her, like, people was DMing me, like, oh, yeah, like, trying to book it. I had a client book. And when I told her the price, she was like, oh, really? She was like, oh, because I saw TikTok. Like, girl, what? So, it's like, as much as y'all think that people won't pay or do stuff, like, they really will. Mm-hmm. It's like, you have to just stand on what you say. And where I live, like, I can't be charging no $100 in this and that. Like, it's just not going to do it. Brown Ampro, that's hella slippery. I used to use that when I used to want to do, like, side swoops when I was younger. You too? Mm -hmm. (laughs) I didn't get how people could tell someone how much to charge for a service they offer. No, for real. It's like, just go to somebody else. Pen, are you watching the new Bad Girls Club on Zeus? I am. It's trash, though. I don't really like it. You got Zeus Network? Okay. You got Zeus Network? Mm-mm. You know what Zeus is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't watch it, though? You don't watch, like, the shows on there? Uh-uh. Wait, what are you watching Bad Girls Club on? It's on Zeus. Oh. Yeah, it's a new one, but... Okay, so how you feel about it, Wife Snatcher? Or anybody who's watching it? Because I just feel like, production-wise, it's just... They just do too much yelling and fighting for me. Like, you know how on the actual Bad Girls Club, like, obviously, like, that's what they were doing, but it was, like, actual storylines. Like, they were actually doing and talking about mm-hmm. other things. Like, this is just all cattiness. No, it's just straight yelling. Like, stri- like people like yelling over each other. You can't even hear. You don't even yeah. know what the fight is about. It's just too much going on. I paid 4 25 for my spa and I was braids. I've had them in for about two months. They still look good, period. Okay, shout out to your stylist. That's what's up. People got to understand, too, like, you pay for quality. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, somebody who's charging 100 probably, in my head, if you're charging $100 to do small knot lists, you either, number one, do do hair on the side, or, like, you doing it for play play. Like, you don't really know what you're doing. Because anybody who's, like, actually, like, well-known or, like, good at what they do is not about to do that for... Mm-hmm no $100 that's just not realistic so that's just one example but I'm just saying because I don't know if y'all be doing this but sometimes like if I like say for example if I ask somebody for like a frontal and she's like oh I'll do it for $60 it's like okay yeah I'm not going to her because she don't know what she's doing like because why you charge the $60 you be ever be doing that or you be like oh no, I know exactly what you mean mm-hmm. you know so it's like you got to think about that too mm-hmm. That's just how I am. Like, it's yeah. like, oh, I'll do your eyelashes for $40. Like, $40. <laughs> like, yeah, no, I'm busy. <laughs> like, I'm cool. 
They be making me think they just don't know. They don't know. But either that or, like I said, they do it for fun. Mm -hmm. For funsy. Like, I don't do this for funsy, so. Yeah. What color should I get my goddess box braid? Ooh. The goddess, though. Well, you got to be careful with that because, well, you're probably not using human hair. If you're using synthetic hair, you damn, you can get any color. Mm -hmm. You should do purple. I was just thinking that. I don't purple? Know why, but, yeah, I was thinking purple, too. Mm -hmm. I love purple, y'all. That'd be cute. I'm about to get my hair dyed purple in August. I'm so excited. Wasn't your hair purple already? Yeah, right. Yeah, it okay. was purple before I yeah. cut it, but I'm doing it again. Yeah, purple or shades of blonde. I paid yeah. two sixty for my knot list. That's good. My body aches and hurt hands and feet feel a whole lot better when I'm compensated correctly. No, on God. <laughs> Look. Oh my God, I'll take some carpal tunnel for my thousand, <laughs> for my thousand a day, please. I want to see someone do reverse ombre box braids. I already did that. Well, kind of. Yeah. In Jamaica, braiding hair is not as expensive as in America. Y'all be charging phone prices for a temporary hairstyle. Well, I feel like the cost of living and stuff is different too. I mean, you have to look at that. It's not just about like the labor. <laughs> like y'all have to understand hairstylists, we have bills that we have to pay. We have student loans we have to pay just like any other career. You feel me? The For the house that I buy in California, I could probably go to Jamaica and get a mansion. So what are you talking about? Like duh, my prices are gonna be different. It's, it's different. It's different now y'all better be glad i don't live in hawaii because i'll be charging thousands Shoot. yeah because because baby when i lived out there i said oh yeah i said oh yeah nah i'm about to run it up they'll be paying and in hawaii they said show gonna pay because it's not that many um mm -hmm. it's not that many braiders yeah. out there i said oh yeah y'all gonna pay pay i thought about moving back there really yeah, like a, a while ago. Not recently. Yeah. But I be heckin' missing it. I just be missing the vibe. Yeah. Is there going out there? I'm jealous. <laughs> I mean, you going, you know? I'm going, babe. Like, I'm, you going before me. So we have a hell of fun. How long y'all staying? Um, till next Thursday. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. Wait, what's today? Oh, so like a whole week. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I do like the other ones. I do, especially when you do them on me. Like, I honestly think they look fine. Like, they don't look like, you know, like the whole big old ball thing. Like, yeah. They really don't look like that. Yeah, so. Yeah, I, I never, know. honestly, like, I never, my regular box braids, I never had, like, big old dookie balls. Yeah. Like, at the root. Yeah. I so, always, like, like, before knotless was, like, a thing, I always used to try to, like, how could I get that knot to not be, mm -hmm. you know, so big, yeah. so. So, yeah, I feel like I always used to. I work on that. I mean, these are just like they just look more natural. That's why, like, I think I would stay with them. Yeah, sometimes I do like yeah. miss how full the regular box braids yeah. look. Though. Yeah. But then, like, That's true. I'm like, That's well, you true. can't really move them like that. Mm -hmm. Like, ugh. Yeah. What kind of edge control do you use for thick hair? Um, to be honest, y'all, pretty much use the same thing. I use Sweetie's edge control a lot. Um, or I have another edge control I use called Touchdown. Um, so I use like either one of those. I don't really switch it up because I feel like it pretty much works for all textures. Sometimes I use instant control. I, I have like a, I have probably like six different edge controls. And most of the time, like I'll talk to my clients and be like, what do you usually use on your edges? And they're like, oh, well, this doesn't really work for me. And it might be something I have. So I'll be like, okay, I ain't going to use that. And I'll just use something else. Yeah. 
You can't use the braid gel as an edge control. You can, but it's not really that thick. And sometimes, like, it won't hold as well as, like, actual, actual edge control will. Um, so, I still use edge control. Did you make that gel right there or no? The that one? Mm -hmm. Uh-uh. Not about that. Not about that. You got to be cute. I'm excited for this. Yes. Yes. I'm surprised you didn't do color. I know. I don't know what I was. I don't even know. Girl, I when I tell you I was debating on the stitch braids of it, it's like I really didn't know what to get. Yeah, the stitch braids. I've been feeling stitch braids lately. Yeah. It's just hella cute. You wanted them to like hang down or you wanted the ones that go in the buns? The In the buns. Yes. Yeah. Okay, when are you going to Mexico? Girl in July. Oh, so it's, it's coming up soon. Yeah. Dang, it might not be a thing. When it, that comes around though. Yeah. But those are a look. I love doing those. Yeah, I like them. When are you gonna start taking new customers? Um <laughs> honestly, I never planned on taking new clients again in the, for the rest of my life. But I was telling her I'm working on opening up my own spot and so I feel like I am gonna work um, you know, like take new clients a couple days out the week. Only like two days. Which is why I was, you know, in the beginning of the live, I was talking about hiring an assistant. Because sometimes I'll be feeling bad. Like, I just want to meet new people. Or, like, I get a lot of DMs about people trying to get their hair done. And I'm like, oh, it would be cool to, like, you know, take some new people. But I feel like every time I open my schedule, I regret it. I'm like, Ugh. Like, I either, I'm, like, hella moody. Like, some days I don't feel like doing hair. Some days it's just, like, people's vibes don't be right for me. Um, I don't really get crazy clients anymore, but I just be regretting it sometimes. So, but to answer your question, probably sometime in July, I will. Yeah, you see me with my ring. I've been trying to wear it more because Drake been clocking <laughs> me. He been, where's your ring? Like, dude, I'm going to the gas station. Like, what? Are right, you just asked me this last night? I told you I'm watching the new Bad Girls Club on Zeus. I'm watching it. I don't like watch it faithfully, so I didn't see the last episode because it's just dumb to me. It's just dumb. Like I do like drama, but like make it make sense. Like y'all just yelling and just it's too much. So I'm watching Jocelyn. I'm watching uh, Jocelyn's Cabaret. That show's hella What's funny. That? Girl, it's about you know Jocelyn from Love and Hip Hop. Yes. Um, she basically is like trying to make a cabaret. You know what that is? Like burlesque dancing. Oh, like okay. It's it's basically Fashion. still stripping, but it's yeah, a little yeah. more classy. Mm -hmm. Um, so so she's basically taking like hoes, prostitutes, porn stars. Oh wow! And like trying to turn them into like this cabaret. Oh, type. Okay. So they just be fighting. And that sounds funny. It's hella funny. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. It's hella funny. Um. And some like right now it's kind of sad because like they be telling their stories about what they be going through, and I should be like, damn, like you had a hard ass life, like you know, you know yeah. how you be looking at your life, like damn, yeah, yeah, like I didn't go through none of that. <laughs> so it's like kind of sad right now, but I mean, it's it's hella funny just because they be so blunt and like real, <laughs> like they don't be giving a damn. It's good, but it's a lot, yeah. like because it's it's basically uncensored, so you be seeing them strip and do all type of stuff. So I gotta be, you know, I can only watch that with certain clients because some of them be like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what the? F some some clients I gotta watch Married at First Sight and some of them I gotta watch <laughs> Jocelyn's Cabaret. <laughs> What's your question, Kayleen? I'm sorry. I can't see everybody's questions. How much do you charge for this style you're doing now? Um, How much do I charge for this? Probably like... Probably like 200. Did you hear me? Oh, okay. <laughs> is that the damn double homicide show? It is. Double homicide. You never seen that clip? Mm, yes. You the seen double, that on? The double homicide one? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah that's yeah, from yeah, that's yeah. from that show. Oh. Yeah, yeah exactly. I do that on TikTok all the time. Like, but you didn't know where it was from? No. I Wait, didn't. did you see the actual clip though? Where the girl was saying she had an abortion and they was like, damn, double homicide. Uh uh. 
Um, so that's where it came from. Like oh. one of the girls, one of the girls on this show, um, girl, she was pregnant with twins, four months, mm. four months pregnant with twins, which. In my opinion, like, that's hella far because twins don't go full term. So, like, four months, then babies are real. Yeah. And so, um, she was basically, like, she broke down a little bit and was like, yeah, I had to abort my twins at four mm-hmm. months. And the girl was like, damn, double homicide. Oh. So, that's, okay, where, okay. that's where it came okay, from. Got you, got you. That's where it came from. But what they been doing on TikTok with it? I don't know, like, just anything. Like, whenever something happens, I just feel like, dang, double homicide. I'm damn. Like, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's where it came from. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna look at that show. Yeah, double homicide. Shout out to all the friends that pay more for their hair because you're friends instead of expecting a discount because they're your friend. Yeah, sure. All of, actually, all of my friends they be um trying to pay, but I just be like, are you serious? Like, what? Why the? F- <laughs> Would you pull out your wallet, Rebecca? I don't be making my friends pay, but it is cool when they like, oh, just let me. It's like, bitch, you know you don't want to pay. <laughs> 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 well, you ever did that? No, like, no, no uh-huh. please just take don't it. Don't take it. And it's like, really, like, no, don't take it. <laughs> <laughs> like, take it, though. Like, take it, but really don't take yeah. it, though. <laughs> yeah. But, um, nah, I, like, all my friends, I'm, like, really blessed. Like, all my friends actually support my business. Like, they be reposting my stuff. And they're hella cool. I rock with all of them. I don't really got shady ass friends like that, but some people be shady, but it's not people I consider my friends. So, yeah, my actual friends that live, mm-hmm. they support. I use Murray's Edge Wax, but I have 4B hair. I love Murray's. It I feel like it just white sometimes, though. Yeah. Like it really does. Yeah. Do you use the um, Extreme Hold? I don't uh, like the extreme hold. I feel like it really turns it white. Okay, maybe that's the one that I've been using. I use the I regular think. hold. Is it hella hard? Yeah. Yeah, you probably yeah. use the extreme hold. It's like you gotta wipe it heck of. Yeah. Huh? Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, super hard. I prefer the other one, but it's just it's not as thick, so I feel like it probably don't work as good. Do you know what the difference is in the got to be's, like with the black and then with the yellow? I really don't know. Cause Cause I, don't know I, don't, I don't feel like I use them that much, but the black one is like a stronger hold. I know oh, that. Okay than um the yellow one so that's all i really know though what you use got to be for yeah i just no i just uh, been wondering because people like are like oh you use the yellow one or i mean i don't use either uh, okay yeah i think the the black one is a stronger hold i just finished doing these on the client that's what's up yeah chloe what what did you do somebody coming for you leave her alone the yellow is for like mohawks (laughs) Nah, for really, when you put it on your hand, hand and you do this, and you like flick it through your hair. Panda, when you have a kid, are you gonna keep cash? You know, to be honest, I don't know. And the only reason I say that is because he has like he really has like really bad separation anxiety, and like you like you cannot touch me. Like if you if you were like hugging me, he would be like barking at you. You be doing good with your nephew though, right? Yeah, he does better, but he used to bite him. Uh, like, not hard, yeah. like, when he was a puppy. I've seen him bite him, actually, like, a couple times, I think. Yeah, so, like, yeah. my whole thing is, like, you're not going to bite my child. Yeah. Or my nephew. Like, yeah. if he'd been my nephew now, it just would not be cool for him. Yeah. So, it just really depends on how he acts, because it's, like, I want to be comfortable, like, putting my kid down. Yeah. Like, to walk around. I'm not about <laughs> to be, like... Your dog's about to attack. Yeah, I'm not yeah. about to be dealing with no dog attacking my child, but yeah. I really do love Cash, so I hope that, like, we're actually going to, um take him to like a behavioral therapist and see if we could get him like you know because like i really i hella love him that's like my favorite little animal but like my kid though (laughs) yeah you're not gonna be messing with my kid i just feel like that's out so yeah hopefully i guess to answer the question hopefully i can keep him but you know if he gets a bite in no it's bad and also, like, when I used to pick my nephew up, oh, uh, he don't like that. He's like, oh, yeah, he's, like, crazy. Does he's he get along crazy. with the other dog? No. Oh, my. <laughs> no. Most of the time, we have to keep them separated. Like, oh, sometimes what? they, like, like, sometimes I let them play. But he gets really, like, once he starts growling and stuff, like, that's when I have to stop. Because he, no, I, like, no. the other dog is so nice that he thinks Cash is playing. But yeah. I'm like, no, he's actually not playing with you. 
And you know, Cash is hella skinny. Yeah. So I feel like he, he'll bite the other dog and that's like, it's like nothing. He's like, I don't even feel it. <laughs> but Cash is like hella serious. He's like, <laughs> like making that type of noise. He'll be like, <laughs> and so I'm like, yeah, you gotta go. So most of the time I keep them separated. Oh. But the other dog is hella smart. So he just like will antagonize him. Oh, okay. Like he'll try to pick up a toy and like, he'll like squeak the toy and like look at cash like because he knows cash is gonna run over there and try to get the toy he'll like do little stuff so but they do not get along can you please tell Markayla how much you charge for butterfly lock she's been asking a lot trying to help oh thank you um i don't usually do butterfly locks but if i did do them i probably charge a couple hundred not gonna lie do you like shy clients um I don't really, yeah, I don't really care. I don't really have a lot of shy clients. I feel like I'm very talkative, so they just answer my questions. And if y'all don't talk, I'll just be like, okay, let me put on the show. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't be, like, forcing people to talk, but I, you can tell, like, when somebody's shy, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, I'll ask them a couple questions. Like, oh, I usually, when I meet a new client, this is how I start off. I'm like, oh, what do you usually do with your hair? And that's how I can tell if they're shy or not. Because they'll be like, oh, I usually do braids. And then, like, they'll talk or they'll be like, nothing. I'm like, okay, yeah, she don't want to talk. I'll ask, a couple, I'll ask a couple other questions, and then if they don't talk, I just, I'll be like, are you watching any good shows right now? And they'll be like, no. And I'll be like, perfect. So I'm going to put on my show, and we'll just get your hair done. Cool. But I'm never like, oh, I can't stand this shy-ass girl. <laughs> yeah. But I feel like most of my clients, they be more lit than me. I'll be like, shut up. Shit trying to watch my show no like shut up i'm trying to watch my show actually oh, my clients are hella cool my clients is cool as fuck emily she needs a tv show that, she, she's hella funny she does anytime she work. comes here i'm like i i know you got <laughs> two or three stories for me so what's new <laughs> god yeah she's hella funny you talk to her every day mm -hmm. okay yeah yeah, I'm telling you, if you go to LA, she'll definitely drive up to you. Are you serious? Yeah, I know well, she she's will. well, she's in San Diego. Yeah. Like, oh, so when you were really. saying that, you were saying she would be happy. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought you were saying it like I forgot she was going to San Diego. Yeah. So no, she'll be real happy. Yeah. No, <laughs> like, she'll be hella happy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I plan on going like back and forth. I just don't want to move there. Yeah. But like you know, I'll go there for a month, come back for a couple months. Mm -hmm. I just don't want to leave my nephew. Yeah. I had to love him. Well, luckily, you know, LA is not that far from here. So yeah, it's like, it's hella close. Yeah. Throw that one hour flight, that ain't nothing. Yeah, really. That's crazy. I'll be there in an hour. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Vegas is like that, too. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's not it like, is. it's a little over an hour, though, yeah. right? It's only four hour drive, though, from LA. Oh, that's not bad. Mm -hmm. Oh, so, girl. Girl, I'll girl, come. Like, I will. <laughs> With the amount of people that can't call me, I will come. <laughs> Trust me, <laughs> I really will. This one girl I was talking to, like, she goes um to LA to get her lashes done, like, every few weeks or whatever. So, what? Yeah. Uh -huh. That's crazy. Yeah. But, you know, like, I forgot who I was talking to, and they told me they live in San Francisco, and they were like, yeah, we just fly into Vegas every weekend. And I was like... Fly you? into Vegas yes. every week for what? I was like, what? They were, like, what? Oh. they were like, it's the same as going to San Leandro. I was like, not nah, really. What? <laughs> so I was like... What are you doing out here every weekend? Like, yeah, they getting too late. Really? Mm -hmm. I mean, it is a quick little trip. It though, is. But... It is. If you have money like that, you know. I mean, I guess, but it's kind of right. expensive to do that every weekend. I feel like the the flights be like fairly cheap though, unless you like going on a yeah. vacation weekend. Like sometimes they be yeah. going too much. I'm not paying three hundred dollars. Okay. To fly to no Vegas, no. stop playing. Because most of my flights, if I buy it early, like they're only like fifty dollars. So. He said it don't be like that, that much on Tuesday. It'd be like forty. <laughs> Right. I know what you mean. You got to make sure you chew close it up and jail helps. Sorry, I'm trying to read y'all comments as best as I can. Hannah, can I take you out on a date, baby girl? Sweetheart. Huh? Really? Keep up. Keep, keep up. <laughs> Come on. Come on. And not you being a female. I'm strictly <laughs> dickly, baby boo. <laughs> it couldn't be me. 
Okay, Detroit, Michigan. What's up with it? I was just listening to uh, T Grizzly. <laughs> I was. He from Detroit. I love Detroit rappers. I ain't gonna lie. Detroit. It's just, I'm so scared to go to Detroit after watching First 48 that I'm like, I just don't. <laughs> I feel like I just, I'm just nervous. Because y'all be holding it down. Y'all got four seasons just Detroit. Like, <laughs> y'all getting lit out there. No, y'all got more than that. Y'all probably got 20 seasons. It's like, damn. Y'all lit out there. It's killing niggas left and right. You said Detroit in the house. That's funny. Thank you, Lysandra. You said we first 48 in Oakland. Y'all need first 48 because y'all <laughs> cops can't solve nothing. They be no, acting nothing. like, right. Y'all don't know nothing, bro. Don't be getting no type of clues, nothing. Mm -mm. I be watching First 48. Like, we need them detectives out here, bro. Because they be. Oakland is something. Yeah, Oakland do. You grew up in Oakland, huh? Your whole life? Mm -hmm. Hasn't it gotten better, though? I feel like it's gotten worse, to be honest. Really? I, saw I feel like Richmond. since the pandemic, it's gotten worse. Like, I feel like since the pandemic is over, it's gotten worse. Like, now I've been hearing about a lot it, of stuff happening. If I think if the pandemic hadn't happened, like, it would be better. But, like, since it did, it's just, like... Yeah, like, people just been in their house waiting to, yeah. waiting to break the law. That's what I told my mom. And I was like, especially, like, killing people, like, they've probably been plotting longer, you know? And, like, thinking about it and, like, yep. really getting a plan. So... That's how it's... Uh, yeah, it is. You say you tuning in while you're doing shirt orders? Drop your businesses so we can support. Same as Shreveport. Man, I'm going to show you guys what gel I'm using in a minute. I'm using neat braids apart and lock into braid. On um, what, Lisa? I thought first 48 coming here. Girl, why are you yelling? <laughs> nah, first 48 made me scared of Tulsa, Oklahoma. No. Oh, my God. Tulsa, y'all got ten about 10 seasons. Bruh, I'm like, I Oklahoma, bruh. I was not bruh. that scared. I went when I was younger because I had family out there. I Did was, you go to the hood? I really don't remember where I was at. Look, but that's, yeah, look okay. it's all of Tulsa. Tulsa be on there in Tulsa, Oklahoma. <laughs> Tulsa and Alabama, they always got episodes oh, together. That sounds about right. Yeah. I would not go to Alabama. Like, no. I went to Alabama, and I ain't going to lie. It was real ghetto looking. I couldn't. It's too country. It was hell. That's, what that's really what it is. Like, me. hella country. I'm uh -huh. like... What the hell? It's you and the number of seasons for me. <laughs> Wait, that's because I watch every season of First 48. <laughs> it's like 30 seasons and I watch every episode. I know about Pookie, Nunu, Dookie, all of them. And they be on there snitching. I just be looking like, mm mm mm. Whole bunch of tattletales. I ain't saying nothing. Just kidding. If I get arrested, I'm six nine. I'm telling everybody <laughs> business. Period. I'm telling on people they ain't even asked me for. <laughs> Look, I saw Katie stealing yesterday. She stole from the liquor store. Two packs of bubble gum. Anything else, officer? <laughs> I'm so, look, tattletale. Wait, did you ever see that one clip? Of <laughs> Oh God! What? <laughs> Wait, I gotta, I gotta get it out. It was a clip that was going around on first. <laughs> Wait, it was a clip going around about this dude who was on first forty eight, and the officer <laughs> was asking him. He was like, he basically told him like, you know, like if you don't tell us, like we could get you or whatever. And so they asked about this dude. I don't know his name. I'm just gonna say Derek. They was like, yeah. So what can you tell us about Derek? And he was like. Derek, last name Johnson, shoe I size that. ten. Yeah. <laughs> Laugh, please. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. No, I saw it. I didn't. No, you, you know why? You know when you have a laugh and you can't get something out and you say it and it's not that funny. Okay. Yeah. So no, no, it was funny though. It was funny. Okay, I'm like laugh. <laughs> no, they be snitching, but I feel like I was snitching. I'm not gonna lie. That's why I don't do. That's why I don't break the law. Only thing I do is like run stop signs. Like I barely stop. I just stop really quick. Yeah, but I can't do no hardcore time. I'm snitching, period. <laughs> Either I'm snitching or I'm finna go in there braiding hella hair <laughs> for hella extra soups. Cause it's like, I need, I can't do the gel food. I'll be looking at the food. Like it's just not. Sure, I know. I'm hella picky. I can't eat that. 
So I'm gonna have to be braiding hella hair. I'm gonna come in there with business cards, period. <laughs> They'll be like, okay. What? Protect her. Right. I need Cheetos, all that. <laughs> Not protect her. <laughs> <laughs> not protect her you ever watch um 60 days in where they like go in the jail yes yes yes, yes. i've seen a couple i think i was over here to be honest oh you probably did watch yeah. it yeah because i used to watch it hella yeah that's my show i feel like i could do that i could do 60 days if i know i could like get out mm-hmm. oh i don't know because some of them you know like they got a little too involved and you know they had to get out and stuff yeah so that's what i'm like i don't I just feel like I could, like, blend in, kind of. Okay, yeah. Like, I feel like I could last, you know? Yeah. But I, just, I also, like, I'm not the type of person, like, I'm not just going to be scared of you. Mm-hmm. But then it's, like, when I see them try to shank me, I might actually be scared. Yeah. So it's, like, you know how you be saying you're not scared or something, and then you, you get there, know, yeah, huh? and you like, uh-uh. Yeah. Yeah, that might be me, because I feel like I'm going to be talking hella shit, and then get in there and tap out. <laughs> like, yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't last a day. <laughs> Yeah, the 60 days for the girls, it do be looking easy because it's like, it's not like the dudes where you have to like go in there and like hump your chest, you know? It's like, you could be mm-hmm. a little weak and feeble. I'll be like, I'll braid your hair, sis. Like, yeah. I got in here from stealing from the beauty supply and, and I don't care. <laughs> like, I don't care. But I'll do your hair, sis. I feel like they'll be cool with me. But yeah, when they started bringing out the handmade uh, prison tools, okay, <laughs> that's I'm when. like, how did you even do that? No, for real, like, they made a they made a shank how? out of a toothbrush. I was like, who? Like y'all hella creative. How are you even doing that? <laughs> like what? <laughs> I don't even know. They be shaving down this and that. I'm hecka done. But I'm so happy I'm not a man. The dudes they be having it tough in there. Like, mm-hmm. dang. I miss that show. I might have to go binge it. Might have to go binge it. I might have to go binge it. You're packed. Yeah. So this is the edge control I'm using. Remember I told y'all I had touchdown? This is cool. I'll be rocking with this. You never used that one before? I mean, you never seen it before? I've never seen a pink one either. They have it in different colors, too. I just tried the pink, but they have it in, like, I think they're different holds. Oh. Like, they have it in, like, um, yellow. Yeah. I think they have a green. Brad, you live in Oakland. Y'all got the best beauty supplies. Honestly, no. When you have me going to some of the beauty supplies out here, those were better. Really? I think, yeah. Uh-huh. I feel like I really no. like them, yeah. Well, there's one that I like. It's, like, borderline, um... It's like Oakland, but it's it could be like Emeryville. Okay. I, I I think it's called. I think it's a beauty supply warehouse. Is it pink? It's oh. in the shopping center next to like a wing stop or something, okay. or not a wing stop, but a. Uh, what is that next to? Wax Nature, you probably know what I'm talking about. Oh, Wax Nature said the ones in Richmond are better. Okay. Exactly. The yeah, one I went really. to was heck of big. I don't know what it's called though. I think it's beauty supply warehouse. I would try to braid in jail to get me through, but after they see my work, woo child, they would shake me for wasting their time. <laughs> I'm hella done. <laughs> Not you getting beat up for doing, <laughs> for trying. For trying. <laughs> Look, what you mean wasting their time? They don't got the, They don't got. They got all the time in the world to sit their asses <laughs> down. What, what 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 else would they be doing, Lisa? That's what I want to know. Said wasting their time. What they gonna be doing playing dominoes? Like what? What do they do with all that? Uh uh-uh. uh. I'll go crazy. I'll start making up dances, doing skits. Actually, I will become a rapper. Cause what else would you be doing in there with all that time? Write a whole mixtape. Stop playing with me. Mm. <laughs> it's across the street from a gas station. I think so. It's like on the. It's in the shopping center on the corner. I'm pretty sure it's Beauty Supply Warehouse. It's hella big, the one I'm talking about. I'm trying to think what you're talking about. The only one I know that's, like, really big is in, like, um, downtown Oakland, kind of. I know which one you're talking yeah. about. Yeah, uh-huh, the pink Where one. Where the parking is hella yes. weird? Yeah. Yes, uh-huh. I hate that. It's by, um, it's by, what's it called? It's by some sushi or some something like that. Some kind of. The other one is Lock-In. 
I'm about to show you. Oh, I'm sorry. Somebody asked what gels I was using. I'm about to show you. Hold on. This is one. This is two. Screenshot. In the land of hairline looks like hella perfect it does like right I here know. i'm like looking at it like that's hella hair. weird yeah i never it's never been like that has it's it never been like okay that. i'm like what the heck i don't know it I'll looks think, like I'll you got it lined up i know <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's like funny to be or not to be oh dang you must have parted your hair down the middle huh mm-hmm yeah That's not like a fart, didn't it? <laughs> That's an ad. Why was she farting? <laughs> what um color did you get on your sis braids? Um, twenty seven. Oh, gorgeous! Nice though. Oh, yeah, it's cute. Yeah. It's cute. I'm, I'm gonna take it down. I need something new. Yeah. Why are you still getting that color? Yeah, it looks pretty. Dang, your eyelashes are heavy curly. I know. That's why I haven't got the. They just, it would just be too much, honestly. Dang, your bottom lashes are heck long. Yes, yeah, a little annoying. You be putting on mascara? Like here and there. It's just it's a lot to take off. It's hella cute. Like, what you mean take off? Like to take off the mascara. Uh -huh. Like it gets caught in it really easily. Oh dang. Yeah. Okay, cause period. What am I saying? Period. Oh my mama, oh my hood. I look fly, I look good. That's my. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, we almost done. Is it Fulani braids? What y'all talking about? Sorry, I'm late to the combo. Oh my mama, oh my hood. Oh my lord. Didn't he pass away? Did he? I don't know, I think I just said that. <laughs> Somebody did from one of the... No, the Swag Surfing dude. Somebody did from, like, one of those iconic songs. Oh. I can't remember who. Hmm. Randy Van Trim. Hey, Randy. Kenna, do you have, do you do fluffy edges? Yeah. I did it before in that, uh, that Jada Wada inspired, um, Stitch Braid video. I did, um. Do you have to fly on them to do them? No, right? Um, no. yeah. Okay. Yeah. If you really want to get that look, yeah. Especially on your hair type. Yeah. Because I feel like, I mean, otherwise yours would just be kind of curled. Mm -hmm. So. But they're cute. Did y'all like, are. um, did y'all like Mulatto's when she got hers done? Because I thought they were hella cute, but. People on the shade room be hating, bruh. Because they was going in on the edges. But I thought that they were hella cute. Like, I didn't feel like it was too much. It was just, like, soft and cute, which I thought. I'll hopefully be good. Uh -huh. What y'all think about Mulatto's edges? Or did y'all not see him on the shade room? Did you see him? You know what I'm talking about? Mm-mm. I did not see him. I'm sure they look good, though. You said fake. Were they with, um... I don't like it. Y'all don't like it? Right. You gotta get Bree something. It's almost her birthday. Yeah, Bree's birthday is in five days. I'm gonna check it out now. It was cute. They were cute. Yeah, I liked them. It's like those fluffy edges. I think they'd be looking cute. Yeah, some, I mean, I feel like sometimes it's, like, a little too much. I just wonder how it is, like, having it on, like, a daily basis. I know. Because it's like, do you gotta keep yeah. flat ironing it? Or, like... You know, I perm my hair and I regret doing it. I might try a curly perm. Dang. You said yes too much. They was cute for her, but not me. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I feel like it would probably be cute on me, but I don't know if I'm going to try, though. I think they're cute, but like you said, on a daily basis, I just don't know about all that. Yeah, it's like, what, do you, what if you don't want it? Like, I just feel like, yeah. what if I don't like, want it? In the morning, like, I don't know. <laughs> It's just gonna look like a bang. <laughs> they were cute as heck. The shade room be doing the most. It's not even the shade room. It's be the people in the comments. Like they just be 
man you said panda can you give me some tips for your hair you gotta ask me some questions baby girl i need to know what y'all what you're struggling with in order for me to give you some tips all your styles be fly thank you shania that's what's up oh, i hope it's not i hope it's shania and not shania i'm sorry y'all i'm terrible with names i just be reading it like i know y'all <laughs> you like that's not how you say my name how you want your edges you want me to like do something with these mm -hmm. okay okay yeah. you be doing your edges you be trying I'm trying. Not like down. hella, like more like just swooping it back. Not yeah. like, you know, I mean, but you don't mean, yeah. Yeah, no. You just need something natural. Is it hard to like um, lay your edges and stuff like in yeah. Vegas? Like as soon as you go out, they mm -hmm. be lifting, huh? Yeah, that's yeah. A, that's why I'm like, it's kind of pointless sometimes doing them because I'm just like, okay, it's going to raise anyway. It's just the heat or you be yeah. actually sweating? It's both. Like just both? Mm hmm. Right. That sucks. It's hard to be cute out there, man. Yeah, it's a. Uh, you be going to heck of pool parties? Yeah. Like, they have them at my um, apartment a lot, so. Mm. Yeah. At your apartment? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, what? You're like, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you add the same amount of hair to each braid? Pretty much, yeah. Um, when I get to the top, I may add an extra piece in there just for length. Because, obviously, like, if I added in the same amount of hair, they wouldn't fall as long as the rest of the braids. But... For the most part, yeah. All my pieces that I add in are the same size, so. Yeah. You back, Lauren? What's up, sis? How long should you keep these braids in for? These, I would say, I mean, I feel like the longest you'll get out of these is a month. And that's like, at that point, it would be time to take it down. And I wouldn't really recommend keeping it in longer than that. I mean, I guess you can, but... I feel like you'll be looking a little crunchy. Yeah. What would you suggest the best, best gel or edge control to do stitch breaks? I really think it depends on your hair type. I, um, If it's somebody with really fine hair, I don't like to use super thick products because I feel like it just makes their, it harder. So I would do like knee braid. If it's someone with super thick hair, I would use lock-in. Um, if it's somebody with like hair in between, I would probably do Evolving Textures O Gel. I bounce between all three of those. But, um, I mean, really, like, O Gel or Lock-In or Neat Braid, I can pretty much use it on anybody. The only thing about Neat Braid is, like, if you have a client with super thick hair, um, it, it is, like, it has the least amount of hold out of all of them. So, it's not going to work as good. So, I probably wouldn't use it for that, but... Those are my three products that I pretty much use. I think more than like the product you use, you need to get the technique down. Cause once you have the technique down, you can pretty much make anything work. Can you sit like straight? Mm -hmm. I just wanna make sure this is in the middle of your head cause it's crooked. Um, there we go. Do you, you have a widow speak? You mm -hmm. don't? I don't think so. Uh -uh. Uh, does your sister? No? Mm, you like, you would know better so. than me, huh? Yeah, it, <laughs> really. Yeah. You making me want to get my toes done? Yeah. I had to because I messed up my feet because I was using the, um, you know that little cheese grater thingy? Oh, the, yeah. the cheese grater thing. You know, the thing I was going to say a pumice stone. Not that one. You know, the other one. You were using that? I was. Because I was so like, oh, I want my feet to be soft. And I messed up. And I like Wait, did what did lot. you do? I was grating too much. What? So were they bleeding? No, it was like... I, the next day I went to work. And I was like walking around all day. And then I was like, okay, my feet are really hurting. And then I got <laughs> home. And I was like, what is wrong with my feet? And they were like sore and like bruising and stuff like it was bad so basically i've been having to get them done like pretty often for the last like four months like real recently so you cheese grated your feet pretty much <laughs> so i'm never doing that again ever are you serious they had, it had like a little bit of dead skin and i was like okay let me you know fix it no I, yeah I went, I went like in like i went like hella and the fact that like and you I was, was probably in, shower, in your head you were probably like thinking like yeah exactly, i'm getting it all off yes because i was in the shower and i was like oh you know like you really can't tell in the shower 
Cause like yeah, cause put, it's like soft. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. It was bad. Yeah, that's crazy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I'll leave it to the professionals now. And I never. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. When you said that, I was thinking like, cause I be going in with that little puma stone thing. Okay, I feel like that's not as bad though. You know. Yeah, but sometimes like I do like, cause I feel like when I go to the nail shop and they do it, it's hella soft. That's what I'm saying. That's so when I, I do it myself, something. I'm like, yeah, it's not soft yet. Yeah, exactly. I'm so like, I kind of go in. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But really, but it's like no, like, I need to. Like, I'm gonna but the now. cheese grater though, you was really yeah. trying to. I was. You I was, was trying to do something. Yeah. Nah. Never again. You, yeah, you went to town. Damn, I need, I need to make this two rows. I'm not going to cap. Let me see. Yeah. We're going to have to make this two rows. Yeah. How the hell you, when no one actually got a smooth band? Dang, I can't believe your stuff was bruising though. Yeah, when you went there, did you tell bad. them? Yeah, they asked me, they're like, what happened to your foot? And I was like, oh, so I tried to do it myself. And they were like, damn, don't ever. And it was like, <laughs> bro, it was hurting to walk on my feet. Like, it was That's so crazy. Bad. Yeah, I had to like, um, every night for like two months, I think, I was just sleeping in socks. Like, I would just like lather my feet in Vaseline and then just put on socks and go to sleep. Like, it was bad. Dang. Yeah, I was really embarrassed. I was like, I don't need anyone. So did it burn when they were doing it, or they didn't really scrub it? They didn't. They tried not to go that hard because they were like, I don't want to mess it up more and stuff. So they had to go like little by little. Like each month, they would just like take off more. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it was bad. Yeah, that's crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so now I'm like taking really good care of my feet because I'm like, I don't want that to ever happen again. It was terrible. No, for real. Like. Uh, Especially the whole, like, you can't even walk. Girl. No, it was bad. Like, I was like, I cannot even walk on my heels, like, at all right now. Like, it was... Oh, dang. Like, mm-hmm. Yeah, sometimes I would just be standing on my tippy toes because I was like, this shit is, like, really hurting me. Dang, you was, was really bad. not... Like, I was... Uh-uh, it was terrible. And I couldn't even say nothing because, like, it's embarrassing to even explain what happened. So, yeah. Yeah, well, I'm not judging. I think. <laughs> or am, Or am I? <laughs> or am I? Uh, that's crazy though. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Do you ever wear your hair to the side? No. Mm-mm. You mean like partnering with braids and stuff? Mm-hmm. Um, Not really. I did like a couple times. Not really though. It's surprising that like um the braid looks good on that side because that's where the edges are messed up the what the edges on my um right side that's where the edges are messed up at but that's where the hairline looks nice your edges are messed up on this side mm-hmm. remember oh yeah i mean it honestly it wasn't that bad though okay yeah yeah it's okay. not it's not that bad i mean it looks honestly it kind of looks like baby hairs I like it's not like yeah. a, it's not like a ball spot like how yeah. the front of your hair like oop my bad sorry y'all like how the front of your hair you have baby hairs yeah it kind of looks like that it's not hella bad um but i know what you mean though mm-hmm. but i'm just confused like how that happened from um, i don't know a weave like i'm like maybe were you straightening it hella but still like i had a closure though you know oh that's so, why like, okay that's even... why you had a closure Oh, so it's you probably think it the was, glue. It's probably yeah, the glue. Yeah, that's what I was How'd you thinking. take it down? No, it was pretty much coming off. Like, it was like a headband by the time it was coming off. Uh, like, it was like, I don't know. Like, it wasn't even, yeah. Got you. Yeah. But it was probably the glue, though, to be honest. Yeah, it probably was. I mean, they say, like, over time, you know, when you get those closures, mm-hmm. your edges be. Yeah, and I had, like, a weave back to back, so, yeah. You did a frontal or a closure? Closure. Oh, uh, okay. Girl, them things be expensive. I know. 
I mean, well, my I, uh, bad, but yeah. I was telling Emily, like, Shoot. I had paid for my cousin to get a frontal done, okay? This, I'm telling y'all this, too. I paid for, she's not really my cousin, but, like, basically my little cousin. But, like, not my cousin, but, like, you know. But anyway, she, <laughs> the heck? <laughs> um, girl, these little bugs in my room. Um, so she, so basically the hair itself cost 450 for the bundles. It was two something for the closure. And like, you know how like you want to buy your own stuff, but then people be like, I can only use this or that or whatever. Yeah, I do. So anyway, mm-hmm. I was like, well, let me just get what they tell you to get, you know? So, um, I paid, yeah. So I paid 450 for the bundles, two something for the closure and then, because, oh, no, we're not done. Mm-mm. The install itself was another mm-hmm. two. Yeah, I'll say two, three hundred. Mm-hmm. Two fifty. Well, it was more than that because I paid her. Oh, it's hell long. Um, I guess it don't matter. I paid her. I paid her. The, the deposit was $50. And then she told me that, that the remaining balance was two fifty. And I forgot, like, I had noticed this after I had already sent it, but I forgot to ask her, like, okay, but is the deposit included in yeah, that? I was gonna say, it's so I'm like, I don't know if I gave her an extra 50 or not, but I already yeah. sent it. So I wasn't going to be like, um, can you send me $50? Yeah. You know? I was like, damn, it's too late. But $50 deposit, that's a lot. Yeah, it was a $50 deposit. Um, and I mean, she did hella good. Like, yeah, she did hella yeah. good. But I'm like, bro, I spent $1,000 for one install. That's, that's crazy. crazy. That's crazy as hell. No. And then, and she told her, she was like, she was in, um, she was out of Queen Shop. Okay. She told her, <laughs> she told her that right. she was like, yeah, this should, this should last you like a good two weeks before two, you need like that's a touch, not even that before long. you need like a touch up. I was like, oh, that's not even that long though. That's crazy. Two weeks. I'm like, that's crazy. And sure enough, I mean, like I had seen her after, in the second week and it was still looking good. So maybe like you know after three yeah, weeks she yeah. probably need a touch up, but. Still, I'm like, a thousand dollars? That needs to come uh, with a touch up, sis. I was gonna like, say, because those prices did sound similar to what Emily did. Yeah, I was like, so, uh, yeah. I told her, I said, yeah, I'm in the wrong business. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I need to get on my wig game for no, real, because they, they be making bang. They do. And then just the hair alone, like, the hair alone is a lot. Yeah. Like, because I'm like, 450 for three yeah. bundles. The three, that's not even a lot. And then they don't come with the closure. Uh Uh-huh. But the hair, I mean, I ain't gonna lie, the hair was good. It was hidden. Yeah, yeah. But I was just like, ugh. God. I said, oh, yeah. I'm sorry. No, I don't know where them little (laughs) little things come from. Y'all done asked me about 50 loving times what gel I'm using. I'm gonna link it in the description section (laughs) for y'all. Because that's like my fifth time showing it. I know y'all just coming in, so I'm sorry, but... Maybe somebody in the comment section could type it in. I'm using Neat Braid, Lock In, and that's it. Neat Braid and Lock In. He said, I'm going to tell her. Thank you, y'all. They'll, um, they'll type it in the comment section for you. You say, yes, I'm here, Penny. You're hella funny. Not, not I can flat iron my hair with that weather. No, I'm good. There's no reason why it needs to be 115 degrees. Okay. That's just not no, right. No, none. No, none. <laughs> that's just not, that's like, like not why? cool. I was looking at that like, yeah, no. Uh-uh. But, that's I mean, people right. still going to be at the pool and all of that, huh? Absolutely not. They are, yeah. Yeah, no. No, thank you. I'm good. I'm Gucci. When are you doing the drink or dare? Um... I'm not sure when I said I was doing a drink or dare, but I've already done two. I did one on Dope Ass Panda and one on Dope Ass Life. So, did we say we was doing another one? Because them dares be... I can't do them dares. <laughs> I have to put toes in my mouth. I can't do that no more. I've changed. I've changed my <laughs> life. Not, as a matter of fact, no. Because I changed my life. I'm not doing that no more. What is this? Stupid ass bugs. Pissing me off. You know where they be coming from. Yeah, you don't even have food in here. Exactly. I really don't know. Yeah. Exactly. Like, what do you want? Like, what do you want from me? Favorite client had very thick hair towards the middle. Tips on how to make those braids look the same size as the others. Um, if you're doing knot list, um, sometimes you might have to start it with their natural hair. Um, when my client's hair is super thick, especially like, I, I'm not sure what style you were doing, but like, let's just say for stitch braids. Um, cause I had this happen to me the other day. 
sometimes I don't even add hair until I need to for length and that will like let it be the same size um, other than that because you could add in like smaller pieces so maybe you can like kind of compensate if that makes sense um, but yeah that should help have you tried the btl braiding gel no i haven't but if you send me a picture i'll try it and let y'all know what i think y'all love trying new stuff i'm like a product uh junkie those are large wow where are you located these ain't large oh they're not like that big but i mean like really big. i feel like these are big to me i mean they're big like hella big like well, I mean, I wanted to make them smaller than the picture, but yeah, they're, they're still yeah, big, though. Yeah. This a lot to you? I think it's a good amount. Like, it's oh, not okay. too many. Mm -mm, it's good. Pen, are you going to save this live? Yep. Don't. Drop that, that, that. You heard me? Y'all got to make some type of noise. I, I have issues. I can't be quiet. Is practicing on a mannequin the same as a real person? I'm tired of mannequins. It's really not the same, um, but it's good to, like, learn techniques. But it really is uh, very different than working on someone's real hair. Just because, like, I feel like mannequin heads, they're hard to part on. Like, you can't really see your parts like that. Just because it'd be, like, holes in the scalp. I know you know what I mean. Um, but it's still good to, like, practice braiding techniques on. Maybe not so much parting. Um, but the actual act of braiding, yeah. Okay, cool. This is so much better. I was going to make this one row, but it just wasn't going to be giving what it needed to give. So. There you go. You got it like, you got like temples. I wonder if it's that's because the braids were too tight before, you know? What like braids the braids underneath have? the closure. Oh, uh, it's not like, it's weird. Like, because I literally look like pimples. Yeah. It's not like bumps. It's yeah, like, that's yeah. weird. No, I literally took out the closure last night. So that's why I'm like, oh, dang. Like, you wasn't playing. Yeah. No. <laughs> no, he said, I'm getting my hair done ASAP. <laughs> that's how yeah. it was. Your hair, your hair don't be tender from that? From when you do that? Like when you get your hair braided after you like take something down? You know yeah. what I mean? Kind of. But it's like, I want my hair done. Yeah. So <laughs> I'll suck it up and deal with it. My hair used to be hecka sore when I would like take down braids and then go right thin in there. I was like, you're not really tender headed though, huh? I'm not. Uh -uh. Yeah. yeah, no. I used to let Emily braid my hair. She's really heavy handed. So really? Yeah. What'd she be doing? Just regular braids? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me find out she know how to braid. <laughs> let me find out. No, I said your mama. Ooh, y'all arguing? Because not my mama. I big shopped and was mad as hell. I'll never do it again either. Okay, y'all y'all in the beginning of the live. Because what? <laughs> that stuff I talked about heck a long, heck a long ago. When you started us over. Okay. I have to care and I need some tips. So when it comes to braiding, what can help my hair grow? My mannequin ain't because I can't even see my part and I got to do it again. Like, I need some tips. So when it comes to braiding, what can help... Well, what can help your hair grow is getting your hair trimmed. Like, braids are a protective style. I feel like it helps your hair grow because you're not, like, touching it. Um, you're not really putting heat to it or manipulating it, combing through it, doing all that stuff. So, it'll help your hair grow. But if your hair is not healthy underneath the protective style, then it's really not going to do anything for you. Like, your hair grows from your scalp. So, the first thing is to make sure you're really taking care of that. You could do, like, scalp scrubs or keeping it moisturized and stuff. And then you need to get your hair trimmed so that you can retain that length. But, I mean, if you're braiding damaged hair, like, you're really not benefiting yourself. You know, that's why it's important to get trims in between your styles and stuff like that. <clears throat> we almost done, y'all. I got two rows on the other side. We for neat, though. Does that mean finished in Spanish? No, does just, it? Sometimes I just be saying shit. I don't does know. it? I don't know. I don't know. I just be saying stuff. <laughs> I just be. Mm -hmm. 
So when is um Emily leaving? Um, in August. I don't know like when, uh, but like probably towards the beginning. Dang, are your parents actually like, excited? Like, yes, we get the house to ourselves. <laughs> I don't know. Or they be sad when y'all leave. In between. Uh, got I you. Think, yeah. I know my parents was like, yes. And I said, nope, because I'm coming right back. I was about to say, yeah, I know I'm going to be up here still, so. Well, how far is San Diego? Like four or five hours or what? Girl, no. It's like nine. Oh, really? It's farther than Vegas, to be honest. Yeah. It's Wait, how, how than close Vegas. is that to Vegas? Um, I think it's five hours from Vegas. Like, I'll go oh, visit dang. Her. Yeah. Oh, it's just going off in a different direction. Yeah. Mm. Oh, dang. I mean, like, I won't go visit her all the time. Because I was about to say, she's probably going to be home back and forth. Yeah. She's still with her little boo? Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. I cannot. <laughs> Did they go to prom together? Uh-uh. Oh. Just because, like, it wasn't really, like, a real thing? Or what? Um, I don't think they were allowed to have outside people, like, you know. Oh, it's just, yeah. like, people from the school. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. Yeah. Penna, who, who do you be doing hair for so long? Like every day, does your hands not get tired? Because I can never, my hands get tired, but um, not like, not like nothing crazy. I feel like more than my hands, like my body gets tired, like my legs, my knees, my back. Um, but I mean, my hands are pretty cool. I get massages a lot very often so that really helps me keep my blood circulating or i like stretch a lot and that'll really help so i don't really have those issues yet i know it's gonna be coming but sometimes like my shoulders my feet my back if i'm not wearing like the right shoes for the day oh my god i'll be having to be in here barefoot Dang, that feels better yeah, if you, them wearing, like, bad shoes. Oh, okay. Like, even the shoes yeah. I have on now, like, they're cute, but, like, I couldn't wear these all day. But yeah. I just came here for you, you know? Mm -hmm. So, it's like, I'll be cool for today, but. Yeah. What really be helping is when I wear my Crocs. <laughs> I could work all day in them things. They'd be so comfortable. But I don't really deal with um, a lot of hand pain, honestly. It's more in my shoulders. Sometimes I feel like some of that is hereditary. Yeah. Cause like I know I know a couple people like a couple of my clients they're like yeah my daughter is sixteen and her hands are hurting already and it's okay, like, that's what? terrible yeah like <laughs> they be they'll be hella young so I'm like maybe it's like yeah. hereditary because my mm -hmm. hands is cool but I have also only been braiding for like I've only been braiding full time mm -hmm. for probably like four or five years now I haven't been doing it like for you know I would do people here and there but I was working a regular job mm -hmm. so. Maybe I just haven't been doing it long enough. But I hope I don't get those problems. Crocs are bad to stand on your feet all day. Really? Because I'd be in my Crocs. <laughs> nurses be in them too, don't they? Maybe they are bad, but they be huh. feeling so good. They don't feel that bad. <laughs> <laughs> They're, they, I really, like, honestly, that's, like, the only shoe I feel like I could put on and, like, really work all day in. Like, otherwise, I'd be just dying. Or I actually have some Nikes, some uh, Hirachis that was cool too. Those be comfortable. Hirachis. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah they be heavy comfortable. But I'm going to leave you out some little, you know, some little frontal no. edges. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yeah. 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 You know who I am. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm tripping. Get you. Get her too. I'm getting those easy slippers. I wanted some of those, but they didn't have my size when I wanted to get them. I heard they were. That's oh, why I wanted to okay. get them. Okay. I just wanted them, period. I know, Sam. What else JB doing for work, and does he even work? <laughs> Don't ever try to come for my man. That's what we're not going to do. Dre works for me. I pay him to edit my videos. And he's also a photographer. And yes, he works all the time. <laughs> Don't ever come for my man. Yeah, he works for me. And he like shoots. He does like a little, a lot of uh, videography work. And he does a lot of, um, what's it called? 
like photo shoots and stuff. But as far as corporate, no, we're both entrepreneurs. And I was going to pay, I was going to pay somebody to like edit my videos because honestly, I just don't have time to do it anymore. But he was like, I could do it for you. So it's like, why not pay my man <laughs> or overpaying really? somebody else? And on top of that, at the time he was working um, for Amazon and they were getting hella COVID cases and not like telling people. That's so he was going to quit. So I was like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and put you on payroll. <laughs> for real. <laughs> Let me go ahead and put you on payroll. So he does that. And when China is not here, China is like my other assistant. You haven't met her, have you, China? I don't think so. Um, so that's my assistant. But when China's on vacation, he'll like take over her spot. He does my taxes. Yeah, he just basically works for me. So yeah. <laughs> but actually, so the place that we're looking at um, of getting into, it's actually upstairs downstairs. So it's kind of cool because he could turn the upstairs Ooh. into like a photography studio. Okay. And then I keep the downstairs. So that's the goal. But y'all, I'd rather build with him than him be trying to build for somebody else. So, you say y'all do share a lot. Well, we're married. So, whatever I make is he would have access to, but he has his own money. And I have my own. So, y'all. Yeah. That's that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um. Um, y'all, all my pricing is, I have a website, I just don't be sharing it with people, but all my pricing is on www.stylebybray.com. I do not like front edges on myself because my, my hair curl up so bad. Aw. I feel you, but they be looking cute though. They do be looking cute. So, you know. She going on vacation, so she needs Period. some front edges. Yeah. You're not going to be regular in Hawaii, sis. Penna, I see that you lost some weight. I don't know what you see that. Where, <laughs> like, where, where you see that at? <laughs> now, y'all, like, my weight has really been fluctuating. Like, it'll go down, up, down, up, down, up because I'm not really consistent. Like, I work out, eat good, and then I fall back into my routine, which is something I've been trying to work on because, like, <clears throat> everybody on my mom's side of my family is kind of bigger, and I'm trying not to, like, you know, I just want to live a healthier life than that. So I'm trying, but it's really hard because I feel like I'm not good at managing my time. So a lot of times I like overwork myself and then I'm dead tired and I'll skip a day and then it turns into a week and then I'm back at square one. But it's something that I've been trying to work on, at least eating better and not door dashing. When I was doing my taxes, y'all, <laughs> and I seen how much money I spent on DoorDash, Girl, I said, DoorDash I was like, money. oh, damn. I said, DoorDash damn, I could have bought a car with this <laughs> DoorDash money. So, yep, my client's hair is nice, long, and healthy, and we actually just trimmed it before. I did it off camera because I don't like trimming hair on camera because I'll be, yeah. I don't know why I just don't like it, but her hair just was freshly trimmed. So, we are just throwing it in these braids, and she'll be back for her July style. I hope she yeah. does get stitch braids, period. Either that or I have to come to L.A., you know. Period. Oh, because you said July. Yeah. Well, I'm going to be coming home. Oh, okay. Like, it's not like I'm going to be stuck out there. I'm going to come home a couple times. So, I'm going to get some of y'all in. Some people, I'm moving for good. <laughs> I hope they don't see this video. I love y'all. <laughs> like, not me being one of those people. Some people, oh, yeah, I just got to part ways. But I can't take everybody, you know? Mm-hmm. But my day one... That's Emily. She ain't getting in, so let her know. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You came to me first. You came to me first, right? I did. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, I'm sorry, Emily. Like, it's based on senior seniority. <laughs> How you say it? Seniority? Uh-huh. <laughs> and you didn't make the cut. I was stalking your page the other day, and I had no idea you had a cheer background. Super dope. Yes, girl. I've been cheering since I was a little kid. Like, this, well, when I was in um Florida, that was my last season. Well, I said that, but I'm going to work out on Sunday, a.k.a. join the team. But I just can't tell my husband that. <laughs> but, yeah, I love cheer. You know, I grew up doing that as a kid, and it kind of just stuck. It kind of just stuck with me, so. 
yeah how do you keep braids from slipping um you want to make sure when you're braiding you try to keep your fingers really close to the base of the client's head so when i'm braiding i'm like kind of pushing into her scalp and i'm making sure my fingers don't slide down and that should really help you also like as you're braiding try not to like drag your hands down you want to keep everything like pushed in to where it's at I don't know if that makes sense. I feel like sometimes I need to, like... I think that makes sense. Like, you know what I mean? Because, yeah. mm -hmm. like, some mm -hmm. people, when they braid, like, the braid itself looks like a loose. Because it's like you drag your hands down. But if you just, like, keep everything at the scalp and let your hands move down naturally... I don't know if that makes sense then. Yeah. Do you use pre-stretched hair? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I used to not use pre-stretched hair. I used to be against it. Not against it, but, like, I just used to not like using it. But now, yeah, oh. I do. Because I just felt like it wasn't consistent and, oh, okay. like, I just liked the way my braids looked with, um, with the non-pre-stretched hair. But they got some better, like, the brand that I use, I like to use got pre-stretched hair. And so I was like, okay, cool. I could work with that. I'm so over the mask, yo. Same. I am too, but I'm not vaccinated, so I just try to keep my clients protected. Did you get vaccinated? Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Y'all, yeah. I already had the, um, I had the nasty stuff. I had corona, so. I'm about to, I might get vaccinated, though. You said you did? Mm -hmm. Wait, which one bad. did you get? It wasn't that uh, bad. Moderna. Moderna? Zion. I mean, my sister, like... Are you getting the vaccine? Like, I'm not sure. They all got it, and they didn't have any, like, reactions. I mean, I had a reaction, but I don't know if that's because I had COVID, though. You know? Yeah. Like, none of them had it, so maybe that's why they didn't have a reaction. What kind of reaction did you get, though? Girl, but, like, I had COVID again. Like, again? I, I had, like, chills, a fever, body aches. Like, it was Dang. bad. It was real bad, like... I wonder, I um... It. it only... The thing is, though, like, it only happened for, like... 24 hours and then it just went away oh uh, like, when you when you caught it did you have like the bad version of it because mine was like not bad i mean i lost like my smell and my taste and yeah i lost my smell and my taste too yeah but i mean that was like the worst i feel like it wasn't and then i couldn't really eat though oh really yeah like you just didn't have an appetite yeah like if i ate it like it just wouldn't stay down oh dang yeah so yeah, i just didn't eat it all so i was just like okay this is so you lost weight Mm. Why the fuck can I get that? <laughs> That's fucked up. Like, I've been trying to lose weight all my life. Not all my life. <laughs> Dang, that sucks. Mm. Yeah, girl, that I would not get that again. Girl, same. I'm like, <laughs> uh, uh, just the taste and smell. Like, okay. that's fucking torture, bro. Be like, oh, why not? And I'm like, nah, you know. Losing your sense of taste and smell is bad. It is literally. Because when it first happened, torture. I was like really scared. I was like, oh my God, I really can't taste this. No, for real. The smell like, was really what was throwing me off. Because you'll try to smell a, can a candle, and you'll be like, dang, I really yeah. like cannot smell this. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. I haven't had Rona either. Good for y'all. I survived it for hella long until um, y'all caught it. I literally caught it in Florida when I went to Florida. Sounds that was some right. bullshit. That was some Sounds bullshit. I said, right. I knew I shouldn't have came to this place. That's the place, though. No, for real. Like, like, it's like, it's either the there or Vegas. Like, really? God. And I, like, literally to myself, I was like, that's what you get. Because I knew I shouldn't have been in nobody's damn Florida doing nothing. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Needed to be at home, minding minds. But, yeah, it wasn't. Um, mine wasn't even bad. Honestly, if I wouldn't have lost my taste of smell, I wouldn't even know I had it. Mm -hmm. So I'm actually glad that I did. Because I would have been out and about living my hot girl summer mm. <laughs> i'm convinced girls to be honest i don't even feel feel sick a couple times but i always be taking medicine what action control do you recommend for people living in hot climates you know oh. we were just talking about that i think you're just screwed honestly <laughs> honestly like because i there feel like you could do there's nothing invincible maybe try that like you seen that rub challenge one actually somebody told me it didn't work was that you no i haven't even which one are you talking about there was one that was going around on Instagram that, like, you put it on your edges and you rub it and, like, 
it wasn't moving. Okay, I feel like you, I know what you're talking about because I feel like. But I, I feel it. like okay, if it wasn't you, then it was my best friend. Somebody told me they ordered it and it took hella long to come and then it didn't what even is it, work. Is it um? Is it Kish? Hey, Banner, I'm getting a human hair, but I was thinking about getting ombre braiding hair. Can we be friends, Banner? We are friends. I'm friends with all of y'all in the chat right now. Y'all just don't know it. <laughs> we keep in. Y'all my homies, period. Um, but yeah, so anyway, you rub it and it don't move. But Is it um Kish? I don't even know what it's called. Okay. Kish. It was like K-I-S-H or K-I-S-H-A. Oh, it could have been. Why? Is that what I, you had? It's like, okay, it's not bad. I haven't tried it in the heat, though. But Wait, I did it take it. heck a long to come to you? Um, kind of. Maybe kinda. it was you who told me that. Kind of. But, like, the edge control ain't bad, but I haven't used it in the heat, though. Our so Kami Cool Edge Control, it works, but your hair definitely um, has to be freshly washed, no other products at all. Yeah. Okay. How long so, does this hairstyle take? I don't know, however long it's been. A couple hours, two and a half hours, maybe. Our Connie Coil Care. Interesting. I hate when a braiding hair tangle like that. I gotta be pulling the hurt in my hands. No, for real. On God. You came back at the right time, sis, because I got four more braids. I heard mixing Mary's Edge Wax and Shiny Gem works. That's a lot of hair. Yeah. I feel like for most of my clients who have stubborn hair, they tell me that they use instant control and that works for them, which um, it's like I've used instant control and it's cool, but sometimes it does turn white, like for real, even when your hair is clean. But I feel like that's like also a thing with edge controls. Like people be like everything turns white, mm -hmm. which damn near be feeling like it, honestly. But what I try to do when I put on edge control is like put a little oil over it. And that'll like stop it from turning white. Or put, you know, put a little oil over the little white spots. Yeah. And, it, and it'll be cool. What time is it there? It's probably like six. I don't know. I just made up a time. What time is it? <laughs> <laughs> you got your phone what on you? Oh, it's like six. Oh, it's 6.30, okay, period. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, so I wasn't wrong. Yeah. We almost there, y'all. I was thinking that I was at least like eight or something. Eight? I don't know. <laughs> Look, it's you only it's time. almost seven o'clock. Talk about eight. <laughs> yeah, fool. Hey, I feel like this part is off. Look. <sighs> my chain, my chain. It don't move. It don't move. Okay, it's not bad. <laughs> I hate when I'm gonna do that. Let's see. Panna, if you have siblings, how many siblings do you have? I have two brothers. Um, I, ow, mother sucker. I have two brothers. I have one older brother and one younger brother. And then I call like one of my cousins my sister because my mom pretty much raised her since she was a kid, like before I was born. So I pretty much call her my um my uh sister but it's not really my sister i put shining jam over my edge control so it won't dry white yeah see i feel like any type of oil or moisturizer you put over it will help it could you do peekaboo knowledge phrase yeah i sure can penny you seeing my comments i see your comment shay i'm sorry i'll be trying to answer everybody's comments and read them all but i can't yeah advice for part in the back of your hair you got to use that double mirror technique where you have one mirror like one mirror and then you look in the other mirror you know what I'm talking I've about? Seen that. Uh -huh. Yeah, you yeah. gotta use that because otherwise no, I'll be you're doing screwed. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And honestly, it just takes time. Like, you gotta really be patient. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all can't even see what I'm doing. <clears throat> yeah. What year did you start doing hair? Um, year one when i was born i started doing hair no for real seriously i really started taking hair seriously in like 20 i think 17 20 yeah 20 like yeah 2017 18 19 20 21 so like four years ago before that i was like doing hair but i wasn't trying to really like learn nothing new i just used to do box braids and like braid people's natural hair but i wasn't trying to like be a hairstylist 
I used to tell my cousins, like, if you tell people I did your hair, I'm not doing it no more. Because I don't want that. <laughs> not use Gorilla Glue. Right. Whoever needs edge control for hot climates. There you go. <laughs> oh, now I see the shape of the parts. Of these parts. Yeah. At the top. They're cool. I should have pre-parted, but it's good. It's too late. It's too late. It's too late. I heck of love those shoes. I'm rocking the famous footwear. I didn't even get a Are you serious? I'm hella done. Wait, famous footwear? They used to have one in Emmyville. Where'd you get Oh, yeah. Where, well, you I got it in when I was in Vegas. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's why. Wait, is famous footwear like a shoe palace? It's like, I don't even know. Like, they just had, like, they had Crocs in there. They had... Birkenstocks, like they just had a bunch of. Oh, it's shoes. like it's kind of like yeah. a journey, so where they got a little mm -hmm. bit of everything. Okay, that's not what I'm thinking about then. That's not what I'm thinking about. They're hecka cute though. She got these like Nike slides, but they look like sandals. They're cute. I rock with them. They're hecka comfortable. Really, like yeah. your go-tos. Mhm. Mm yeah, they look like the Nike yeah, slides yeah. I have, but they just have a strap in the back. That's yeah. like really cute. Do your edges with holding mousse and let it dry before you do them with your edge control. Top with a little holding spray. Y'all be having all the little tricks. Do they work though? I put um, I put mousse after I do it, so I do the same really? thing. But in yeah, oh. I like do the edges and then I'll put the mousse on, and then I'll hairspray it and tie it all down. Okay. But I try not to put like hella mousse on the yeah. edges. Like I just kind of coat it a little bit because I feel like it helps them not turn white. And then I'll do like, you know everything else but some people's edges are just hella stubborn like mm -hmm. damn i'm gonna get one installed for my birthday photo shoot period you must be talking about it um you must be talking about a frontal what country you live in i live in um the united states of america when i seen that comment she came to my What is the best edge gel control or hair wax to use for braiding? Um, like I said before, I use different ones. My favorites would be Neat Braid, Evolving Textures O Gel, or Lock In. Those are the three that I use. <clears throat> and they're all bomb AF. How do I grow my channel? You have to be consistent. You have to post a lot. And also, you want to like post obviously things that people want to see i feel like reaction channels couples channels tutorial or like you know channels where you teach people how to do things are most popular so you have a better chance of growing vlogging channels are a little bit harder but you know if you got the personality for it, sis, step out pan and no lie when i say i don't know what to watch on youtube when you go away i'll be like man i miss watching her go live I know I wasn't even going to go live today. I was going to record her, but I forgot my phone. So I said, let me just do this. How are you feeling after the wreck? I feel a lot better, y'all. Um, Really, honestly, aside from my arm still being ugly looking, like I'm pretty much 100% back. I feel like the biggest thing was that I had a concussion. So I really couldn't like, I really could not stand up and braid. Like the day I did Bree's hair, I think y'all thought I was playing, but I really thought I was going to faint. <laughs> like... It was bad. Did you know I got in a car accident? I, I think Emily told me or something. Did you see my new car? Uh-uh. Wait, okay. Yeah, yeah, your new one? Yeah. Yeah, the Jeep? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The Jeep? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it. That's nice. Yeah, girl, I got hit by a stupid was it that? Was that the car? That got, got hit? hit? Yeah. No, 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 no. It was I the got that car. Was it the smaller one? It was the, um, I don't know if you remember how, like, that burgundy car. It was a. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, what was it? It was a, a Chrysler. Okay, yeah. I was thinking that was a silver one. Though. Oh, no, 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 no. That's my husband's car. Okay, gotcha. Wait, was I doing your hair when that was my car? The silver one? Uh-huh. I think so, yeah. Dang, that was heck long ago. I know, yeah. 
Dang. Yeah. <laughs> wow, you really are a client, client. <laughs> you <laughs> family at this point. Yeah. Love for real. Because I ain't had that car in a minute. Actually, nah. I, I switched in hair school. Oh, I didn't car in hair school, so that was, was a couple years. Lock into his pure knee, braid evolving textures, touchdown is what she uses for box braids. Period. Okay, Kayleen. Or is it Kathleen? I didn't really see. I'm sorry. But yes, sis. Period. Who needs China when I got hurt? Nah. <laughs> I miss your sing-alongs with Panda and friends. I know. I'm sorry, y'all. They were on vacation, and I just, I, I haven't even seen them since they've been back. It's been two days. But I promise we coming back. I cussed them out the other day, so we got to give it a couple days. I said, oh, yeah, you, you guys are fired. Well, I never knew there was powder in the hair. It's raining heavy here, so I'm barely hearing anything. Oh, that sucks. It takes me all day to do not list. Any tips on speed? Pre-partying. Just um, honestly, like a lot of it comes with muscle memory. Um, so the more you do something, the better you're going to get at it. That's like with anything I feel like. Um, but making sure your space is set up for you to be like efficient will really help you. So, yeah. Per. All right, I just got to break these down, y'all, which is going to take me about 10 minutes. And we're going to slap some bees on here. She's going to get on with her life. Her day, not life. That's not a hell of <laughs> She's going to get on with her vacation vibes. I'm going to be excited for you. I know I'm excited. I just want to travel, I feel like. I get it. I love traveling. Me too. It's heck of fun. But I can't be gone for heck of long. Like, I feel I like a week yeah. is like top. Mm -hmm. You know how people be going out yeah. the country for heck of long? That's crazy. Yeah, couldn't be me. So, yeah. How long did it take you to do her hair? I think it's been a couple hours. Yeah. Maybe a little over that. It takes me a little longer when I do it on live, but my views 400, subscribers only 70. Well, in order for people to subscribe, like you also need to have a lot of content because if you like most people, like if they walk one video and it's cool, they might watch like one more. If it's cool, then they'll subscribe. But if you don't have a lot of content on your channel, it's going to be harder to get them to subscribe. Oh, the first thing I'm going to do when I get together with them is cuss them out because they said, is the rev air worth it? That's that blow dryer that I used on you earlier. It's cool, but it's, it's on. Like, I feel like, okay, so that blow dryer, y'all, I have this blow dryer. I don't know if y'all can see it right there that i paid i think i feel like i paid 400 dollars for it i'm not sure how much it really was but um it's cool it's just like it doesn't get the roots good enough for me like i feel like i need the roots to be hit and it don't be hitting them like it needs to so it's weird like it makes your hair straight though like it definitely works but yeah yeah like it does its job but i feel like it's just i don't know i just Sometimes I got to use something a couple times to, to like get used to it. It just doesn't get the roots good enough for me. So that's why I be tripping off of it. Mm. Looking good. Thank you, Glam Nails. Kayleen, what you talking about? Per Panna can leave after an appointment and go grocery shopping. What y'all talking about? It's therapeutic to watch hairstyling you should try asmr i was thinking about that but like what do i do like you let y'all hear me braid or do i whisper like hello guys thanks for coming to my channel isn't that what they do in That's asmr what they do yeah they just turn everything up like you're braiding it would just be louder i think yeah but yeah so the rev air the rev air like honestly if i could go back in time i wouldn't buy it if that's what y'all want to know but I had, like, to be honest, I have not, like, really read into, like, how to properly use it and stuff. Yeah, it is the reverse blow dryer. I haven't properly, like, read the instructions. Like, the first time I used it, I didn't know it was different settings. It goes from, like, I think one to seven, and I used it on one. So, at first, I was like, this is trash. Like, I was actually pissed. And then somebody was like, oh, well, you got to turn it up. Um, So, that's when I was like, oh, okay. Let me turn it up. And it's better, but it just, 
Like, it doesn't get the roots. Like, the roots will still be wet. So, yeah. Does anybody else in here have it? Because I was like, maybe if I watch a video then. August 24th. Okay, uh, you you Virgos. Hey, Jada Moore. Hey, Jada Moore, boo. Have you used the brush blow dryer? No, I haven't used that either. Nah, Panda, you don't need that, though. It's already therapeutic for real, for real. Okay. So just braid. ASMR is cool, but I like when Panda talks to us. I know. I posted a video, like, maybe it was yesterday, and I wasn't talking, and somebody was like, this is hella weird. <laughs> Cause I'm always like, you know, you always, what's popping YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Dove Ass Panna. That's my intro. Can a person be considered a pro braider if they have been braiding since nine years old? Yeah. If they're good. Panna, I fell asleep on your live for like an hour. Oh, hell no. Wake your ass up. Next time I'm going to start banging pots and pans. Wake that ass up, period. You prefer me talking. Okay, sometimes I just don't be knowing what to talk about. Or I'm like, uh, I already did this hairstyle before. Yeah. You said, is you rapping today? I'm not. I'm sorry. I don't have no, I don't have my beat maker here. But she gonna be back. I should have told her to pull up today. Yeah. Not the pots and pans. Yes. The pots and pans. He said, I'm up the fuck <laughs> yes i love listening to you girl always have stuff to talk about girl you know it's funny so the live i did where i was braiding, braiding my client with 4c hair i was talking about toilet tissue like sticking in people's butts in the public restroom and like i was reading somebody's comments and i was thinking like how do i even be getting on these topics <laughs> like i feel like i'll just be talking and then just stuff comes up you know mm -hmm. but i'm like how do like what were we talking That's about funny. to even be talking about sitting on a public toilet yeah even when most times you don't say things the people ask what i want anyway that's funny on youtube and tiktok okay he he youtube i can braid but not a pro what really makes somebody a pro i love how you say my name so perfect not many people can pronounce it right what's up I'm about to leave out. okay see you later um no you can push that open you want me yeah i just didn't want to be loud i'm sorry <laughs> All right, see you later. Yeah. I'm getting my hair ready. That's what's up. How you braiding and reading the comments? Cause I'm not looking. I don't care what her braids look like. The root is <laughs> the root is done. So that's all that matters. No, I'm just <laughs> the root is done. I don't really care about the, the rest. I don't even look. It's just she just gets what she gets. I'm just kidding. What if I was really like that? That'd be terrible. <laughs> That'd be terrible. No, I really don't need to look though. It's still gonna look perfect. I really just love watching your videos because I stay in Alabama and it's so ghetto. <laughs> it's ghetto here too. It's so ghetto to the point where no one can do my hair out here. I watch your videos for inspiration, period. What? Usually the girls in the ghetto be braiding. So come on, what's up with that? Not the old friend texting me. Dang, y'all typing fast now. I miss braiding, but I'm pregnant. I just can't. Yeah, no. Mm -mm. You don't want to stress your baby out. I miss chatting with the doo doo doos. Me too. I miss her too, but she fired right now. She's going to be hired tomorrow when I need her to go to the beauty supply. Your birthday right before my man's, period. Is your man an Aries or are you even talking to me? <laughs> Not an old friend texting me to see if they're blickety blocked from my phone. <laughs> y'all, one of my old dudes texted me the other day. I already told my husband, so for y'all y'all to be like, oh, don't say that. <laughs> I already told my man because I'm married. Not when we have in jail on my man. Huh? Okay, that's cool um he texted me and it was the best feeling ever because i was like um married <laughs> i said <laughs> you tried it hey now we in here by ourselves so i could really be loud <laughs> i'll be trying to be quiet i'll be trying to be quiet panda you know big jazz two lot two lives two lives no i don't know who that is is that a youtuber Happy early birthday, Brittany. George, period. My birthday is Monday, June 14th. Okay, Gemini. That's one day before my sis. Can you please try to guess how to say my name, Ariana, girl? Come on now. You think I was born yesterday? Watch. It's probably going to be Arena with some complicated ass spelling. Gemini gang. Yeah, cut that out because no. I'm 11 and doing lace fronts with my cousin in the salon and I'm getting big money. You're getting big money, period. 
She said, shut that down. If you're getting big money, donate to your middle school. Big Jazz 2 Live is funny as hell. Who is that? Like, what does she do? Yeah, I watch Big... Okay. I'm going to have to look up Big Jazz. Facts. When you a pro, you can do that. She said, I'm getting big money, not little money. <laughs> she said, I'm not selling hot chips and all of that. Why does little kid try to sell me hot chips? I said, no, nah, I was just trying to hustle. And a fidget toy. I was like, uh-huh. what? I don't want no used fidget toy. That's hella funny. <laughs> you said it right, so yeah. Period. Ariana or Arena. Hey, yo. Do you put hot water at the ends, then mousse, or do you mousse first and then hot water? I mousse first. I'm a cancer gang, 7-Eleven. Oh, hell no. You're crazy. <laughs> and a fidget. What do you do for hand pain after braiding? I usually stretch. These so cute. Get it some knowledge, period. I forgot about the fidgets. She really tried to sell me a fidget toy and tried to give it to me on a deal. She was like, I can bring you another one tomorrow for $20. Mm-hmm. I said, girl, first of all, I don't want this first one. Oh, so, I definitely, yeah. so I definitely don't want the one tomorrow. That's what we're going to start at. And... I said, now what you trying to hustle me? You can't hustle a hustler. But she was cute. I said, I'll donate, but I ain't trying to buy no fidget toy. Can you say my name? Alea. That's hella pretty. I'm about to name my daughter that. Aquarius. And now what y'all coming in with these signs? We talk about this every, every live. We talk about this. Do you remember Silly Bands? Is that the one where you like slap it on your wrist? Penny, you so. do hair so pretty. Thank you. I'm thinking about getting my nose piercing. You should just do it yourself. Just kidding. Don't do that. (laughs) Look, Uh I'm bleeding. No, kids nowadays, you really cannot tell them to do that. You say you a YouTuber? Okay, period. Sanai. People be saying Cleo instead of Chloe. Mm. That's annoying. I thrive for your life, Panna. Are you a rapper, Ramonda? Ramonda? How do you feel about Scorpios? I don't really know a lot of Scorpios, but I feel like they're hella loyal. Was that a Scorpio I was messing with? Yeah, I feel like they're loyal. Please don't pierce your own nose. Pen is kidding. No, I'm hella kidding. Do not, okay? Can you pronounce my name, Michelle? Okay, y'all got some creative ass names. How many of y'all got two names put together? Because that'd be really getting on my nerves. <laughs> Scorpios think they know everything. I don't really know Scorpions. Wait, I dare Dre to oil your scalp. I do too. Shit, because my shit is dry. Dre don't like to oil my scalp. He don't like to do nothing. He's hella mean. He's like, no, it's moisturized. No, it's not. Try to pronounce Kamira. Come on, make it harder. Christiana, come on. Emerald, come on. Make it hard. <laughs> make it harder for me. Sky Blue. You know a girl named Sky Blue? She sound like an airline. Where's your good sister? I haven't seen or heard from her in the comments. My good sister, Shakonda. Kitwana. Okay, I can't make funny on names because some of these might be cultural. Javina. Najje. Najje. Oh, that's cute. Najje. You have your baby names picked out? You want kids? Mm. it's okay to say no i'm like in between i really like kids but it's like not oh, sure i'm getting though. i'm like i don't know yeah like, i'm with you i know emily's gonna have kids so you know like why she want to have your kids uh i think she wants like at least like two i think that's good and elise labria that's how cute you want kids um yeah i guess i do I do want kids. I just didn't want them right now, but like I don't have a choice. I'm over the hump. <laughs> like, I, but I'll take some kids. I'll take a couple of kids if they bad. I wish I could just give them back, but yeah. But I don't. I don't mind a couple little kids. I just. I don't know. I just don't feel like having them. But. I feel like once you have a kid, like, it's going to change. You're going to be like, oh, my God. Yeah. I just want to be pregnant and take Toisha. I hope that's not no. your name. Toisha. No, I just, yeah, I just don't want to go through labor. That's really what it is. Yeah. And the Tisha Poda. Okay, come on. 
like Demetriana. So like, pretty Panta. Okay, now you just making up shit. Yeah. <laughs> <They're> <laughs> I said pretty Panta. Um, I'm hella done. Okay, let's stop with the names. Yeah, what did you start, Kayleen? You see what you did? And I was just about to hire you to be my common assistant. But uh-uh. You see what you just started? Draisha? Okay. Because what the... F uh-uh. It's pronounced Toisha. That's not better. Oh <laughs> That's not better. Don't do it. Kids are nuts. No, I don't want to talk about people's names because my middle name is Simone. Or Simone. I hate when they spell something like Simone. It'll, it'll be like Simone, like S O N. Wait, S I M O N E, but like it's Simone. Like, no, bitch, that's Simone. <laughs> like, stop with that extra shit. It's, it is what, it's what you spelled it as. Don't try to make it exotic. Simone is cute, though, but I just hate when people do, <laughs> when people do that. Simone. Actually, my mom did that. My name is spelled Brianna, but it's Brianna. So I can't really talk, but. I'm not going to do that to my kid. Somebody said some Sam one. No. Have you seen that video of the girl on Oprah? Dang. On Oprah with the longest name. Please tell me you have. I feel like I, I have. have. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I have. Not what you're saying to say dig as me. <laughs> I'm like, how about you? Yeah, it was how long? It was like on screen or some shit. Yeah. Yes. That's out of line. It is. Like what? But she got on Oprah, though. Yeah. Shit. My middle name is Matrice. Okay, we don't care anymore. I care about you, but, like, we don't care anymore about the names. These novels is about to get just that more, much more fire when we put these bees on. Exactly. It's real vacation vibes. Real vacation vibes over here. Okay, turn up. <laughs> she getting excited, y'all. I have both of my kids natural. It's not for the week yet. I'm not doing that. I am the week. Like, that's, like, for you to even do that, you're literally, like, you are the shit. You're insane. Yeah, but I'm sure. not, I'm not one of those people, like, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie to myself and tell myself I'm going to do that. Because what? Actually, I might try, though. I might try. No, no, no. Fuck that. <laughs> mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, I might try. Mm-mm. I don't know. Oh, uh-uh. No. Hell no. Oh, no. I just pictured myself in labor. No, 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 no. I'm hella dramatic, so I think I'm actually going to faint. I might die and then be revived back to life. It's definitely going to be a story, though. I have both of my kids natural because no one gave me a damn choice. Oh, uh-uh. You must have had your kids in the 1960s because we got plenty of choices now. <laughs> like, hell no. Nah. That's messed up. How did they not give you a choice? Like, you was you, too far yeah. along? Yeah, like. Mm -mm. You said the epidural could take a toll on my back. I know that, but I feel like I don't need my back no more. Just fuck it. <laughs> Look, I've done, I've lived my life. I don't, I don't need it. I don't need it. Have you seen? No, just kidding. I want my back. It's just. She said I had an epidural and I'm proud of it. Period. I mean, I just like, I just can't picture it. Oh my god. Let me turn this light down because I don't know why it's doing this. The first one was preterm, and the second one I went to LND. Oh my god. Yeah, you really didn't have no choice. That sucks. Well, I mean, isn't that cool that you could like tell people that though? You know, pain. She said, "Is it cool?" <laughs> Pain is temporary, you know? Didn't it make you love your kids that much more? She's like, actually, no. I hate them. I'm going to go natural for as long as I can. Me too. Good job. As soon as I enter the hospital door, epidural. That's about as long as I'm going to last. Car ride. <laughs> I'm already doing. Did you see Kayla Nicole's birth? Yes. When she started screaming, I said, that's all I needed. No, thank you. She was hella screaming. Nope. It was hella funny. I was watching one of the teen moms in labor. And, and her husband touched her. It was Ashley Sirens when she was in labor. And her husband touched her. She was like, please don't touch me. <laughs> and then he touched the, the cover. She was like, please don't touch the cover. Oh, please don't touch the pillow. It's like, 
I'm the same way, though, because I feel like Dre is very comforting. Like, if I'm in pain, he's like, you want me to cuddle you? It's like, just no. I want you to fucking disappear. <laughs> like, the fact that you're even... One time I was, like, so in hella pain from my, my, my period cramps. So I get hella back cramps. And he's like, do you want water? Here, just sit up and drink this. Like, no! I don't want to drink this. <laughs> like, I want to be left alone. Like... The fact that you're doing this is, like, making it worse because I don't want to, like, think right now. Like, I just want to be, <laughs> I just want to be left alone. And he's, like, the nicest. Like, I love it. He's, like, so supportive in that way. So, it's, like, I know when I'm pregnant and I'm going through hormones, I'm going to, like, have to tell myself, like, don't be mean. Yeah, yeah. Like, don't be mean because he's just hella comforting in that type of way. And I'm hella mean. Like, I don't want those effing noodles. I said I'm freaking hungry for McDonald's. So I got to make sure I'm nice to him. Because, you know, we be mean when we pregnant. He couldn't take it. He almost passed out. Oh, my God. That one unbraided in the back missed me with the ones is bothering me. Oh, I see it. <laughs> I almost didn't see it, though. How do you see that? You got heck of good eyes, bro. Yeah, I feel like somebody said, it. are there different sizes for large braids? I feel like every braider's sizing is different. So you just got to, like, look at their page and see. Because, like, some people, this is their medium. Sometimes I'll be looking like, damn, that's hella big. big this is me, this is actually hella big to me. Um, So I feel like you just got to. I got it for you, sis. You can't get an epidural until you're five centimeters dilated. Well, I might just have to stretch my shit out because I'm going to need it. <laughs> Just kidding. I was Satan when I was pregnant with my daughter, and she is a mean as a pit bull now. Yeah, see, I'm going to try to, like, tell myself to be nice because I'm already kind of mean, and I feel like the pregnancy is just going to probably put me right over the hump of borderline devil. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try my best to be nice because my husband is really, like, the best. He's hella supportive. He's hella sweet. He's a Pisces, and I'm an evil-ass Aries. Sometimes I just do things just to take him off pretty funny it's pretty funny you say you don't sound or look mean actually I wouldn't say like I'm mean I think I'm just really blunt like I'm just I just really say everything that comes to my mind and that sometimes people perceive that as like being mean but I don't think I like I don't intentionally do things like I'm not gonna slap her like I don't do like stuff like that you know what I mean but it's like I'll just say stuff sometimes and people will be like that was hella mean. And I'm like, oh, my bad. But it's like, you have to be around me. I'm not just going to do that to, like, random people. But once you get my friend, it's like, I'm going to say what I got to say. So, but but I'm actually, like, I actually feel like I have a really big heart. Like, I love to do for people and stuff like that. Quinticia, come on, girl. Damn, y'all see her hands? <laughs> I have ugly ass hands. That's fucked up. Why would you why would you say that? Why would you say that? My friend is an Aries and she's kinda mean sometimes. Yeah. It's like I just like even when I say something that's like blunt, I don't think it's mean. I just like say things and then Dre'll tell me he'd be like, That was hella mean. It's like, oh like I don't think it was mean, but but I I do like try to I really care about like what people think about me, so I don't try to be like hella mean. Oh, I move hella fast. I thought you was talking about my ugly cuticle beds. Sorry, that was my own insecurities peaking. They say when all the lights are on in the house and you're cleaning everything that's already cleaned, the baby is coming. I was going up and down the stairs when all the lights were on. That's hella funny. I don't be knowing if I be, be believing all those myths. Almost done. We got three more. I don't be believing all those myths. So you want the pink or you want the clear? Oh, oh my God, you don't know. <laughs> I know, I know. Okay, I think I want the pink because I feel like it's more vacation. But I'm like, am I gonna get tired of the pink after? But if I do, I could just yeah, you can switch it out. Yeah, I can always switch, switch it out, out for you, honestly. Or you can switch it out. Or Emily can switch it out. Yeah. I think the pink is cute and I different. Think the pink will be cute. Yeah. How many do you want on each one? Nah, I won't do that. I'm saying it would be weird if we mixed it. But, I mean, you could, but I feel like you would need to mix it in yeah. a few ways. Like not like every other. Yeah. That's kind of no, 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 yeah. I mean, like, but you could do... You could do, like, two clear and a pink or whatever. Two pink and a clear, but... Yeah. Honestly, you want, think, you want three beads on each? Yeah, just do all pink, though. All yeah. pink? Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey, Miss Rollins. Who are you talking about? 
pink. Not pink with a Y. I use Shining Gem and BTL braiding gel. I'm gonna have to try this BTL braiding gel. Where do you get this from? I've never heard of it. I was eight centimeters dilated. I had contractions walking across the street today and blimp. Uh -uh. Okay, now y'all giving y'all full birth stories, huh? You needed some milk, sis. Not walking. Eight centimeters dilated. Because don't you got to be 10 to give birth? Oh, no, no, no. At eight centimeters, I'm laid out in the street. I'm giving birth in the gutter. Because <laughs> absolutely not. I'm hella dramatic. I can't wait till y'all see me give birth. Oh my God. Oh Lord. I already practiced. I thought we was doing orange. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. No, we weren't. You didn't think that. <laughs> I feel like the pink is the most baddiest color, girl. Hey, vibe with Bree, period. What's up, Liz Rollins? Lock and twist, pure knee braid. Thank you. Listening when my daughter was three, she came home and told my mama, okay. She came home and told my mama everything would be fine if we would mind our own business. She was born an old woman for real. Oh, no. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all thought it sound bad as hell, sis. Because who are you talking to? Little Tink Tink? Yes, I would have been laid out in the street. Eight centimeters? Stop playing with me. I'm not walking. I need a gurney. You said she is. Oh, little Tink Tink. Are you going to share your birth story with us? <laughs> yes. Come on. I'm hella dramatic. Yes. You know it's going to be a story time. Asking for a shout out, please. Oh, vibe with Bree. Oh, that's a that's a person in here. Okay, my bad. I thought she was talking about vibing with me. I thought I was special, but I guess I'm not. Okay. How much you charge for knotless? Because people be charging 300 down here. I do charge a little over 300 for some small ones. I Yes, I very much do. But not these. These are hella big. I have to get that blow dryer on your table. You don't. <laughs> you don't you have don't. to. You don't. You ain't missing nothing. Nah, let me, before I really give y'all like a full rundown on how I'm feeling about it, let me actually try it out for real. Because yeah, really. Try all the settings and stuff. Yeah, let me like really go. Because it could actually be fire, but I'm just not doing it right. You know, so let me, before I tell y'all not to buy it. Is it black owned? Because if it is, buy it. <laughs> Look. Is it black owned? I'm not gonna tear my fist down. <laughs> but if it ain't, you can wait. Okay, y'all wanna see me bead with a beater or y'all wanna see me bead with a uh with a uh what's it called? String. Cause somebody had asked me earlier. Um, somebody had asked me earlier, and I don't know if she's still in here, but if she is, I want to show her. Y'all want me to use a beater or a string? It's tied. You just want these, like, kind of natural? Yeah. Okay. I even know you could do it with a string. Yeah. I've only seen it's quick. It's, I mean, I feel like it's the same, uh, but it's quick. People like to use a string because I feel like you could put more beads on here. Are you using? Um, the sweeties one to be honest or the k-i-s-h-a i don't know wait do you get that from uh do you get that from... which one? Oh, you get it online i was about to say do you yeah. get it at the beauty supply no i definitely get that online that's all this girl posted on tiktok and i saw a bunch of other people posted and i was like oh let me try oh, it you was like oh it must be good yeah it's not bad though pretty good Thanks. This is, I think I'm gonna do my touchdown. This one's cool. I mean, honestly, it kind of reminds me of the sweetie. 
Yeah, I like the sweet one. I do. Me too. It'd be a hit or miss sometimes. Mm-hmm. But I don't I know if it's like the flavor or like yeah. what. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I rock with it. Alright, so we went natural on her edges, y'all. Because she didn't want nothing too crazy. So super natural. Okay, I'm sorry. What, what did y'all vote on? A beater or a string? They said both. A beater. Both, both. Okay, we're going to do a beater. Oh, my knees. All right, so these are my beaters. I actually have more than this, but this is all I'm gonna load. These are the beads we're doing. Stop the cap. And basically, while her water is boiling. Sorry, that was heck loud. We're gonna beat these. You I want my hair. Huh? You want me to hand them to you? Oh, string? Y'all want to see me do it with string? Okay. Um, you don't have to. My hair will revert right back with that mousse. Oh, that sucks. I try not to, like, whenever I have clients with, like, type 4 or super curly hair, I try not to put too much because then it will revert back. Do I usually mousse you? Yeah. But not, like, too much, though. So. Yeah, just a little bit. Okay, so the string is hecka easy. So you're gonna take your string and you're gonna tie one bead to the end of the string. Some people like to do this cause like you could put more beads on here so you don't have to stop as much. So you're just gonna tie a knot just like that. And boom, that's gonna stop your beads from coming off. Then you can make your string however long you wanna make it. I don't like to make it too long because then it gets tangled, right? So, after that, you're gonna load up your beads. And I'm actually gonna have, um, you literally, you literally loading up your beads on the string, okay? Just like that. So I'm gonna load these up. Um, you actually wanna load this while I dip your hair? Mm -hmm. Or you ain't tripping? Yeah, I can do it. Okay. I'm gonna have her load it and then I'm gonna show you how you tie the top so that you could uh, 
I'm going to show her how to tie the top so that you could put them on. But it's just basically going to be like this. So just go ahead and put those on there. Okay. Here. This is the top. Okay. Yeah. You don't have to worry about the bottom. Just load it up until it's full. And then while she's doing that, I'm going to dip her. I've never seen that before. Really? I feel like it's yeah. like the I feel like it's like the old school way. Oh. That people used to do it. You say y'all got a straight flight? Mm -hmm. Dang, that's good. Yeah. So yeah, it's just five hours too. straight there, huh? Mm -hmm. I hate switching too, unless it's like a heck of a long flight, like to yeah. Florida or something. Mm -hmm. Like, I need to switch because, oof. I be getting restless, but most of the time yeah. I can sleep all the way through. Can you Dang. sleep on the plane? I don't want to sleep on the plane the whole way. I already know. Dang. One of my friends, she's like, I cannot sleep on the plane. That I'm like, that sucks. Mean, but yeah, that sucks. Girl, I don't even know now. Anymore. But actually, like, before I'm, if I know I have to fly out, I make sure I'm tired. Mm -hmm. Like, I'll stay up all night. That's what I'm saying, yeah. And I'm still tired, like, right now. So I'm like, yeah, I'm going to just stay up tonight so I could just knock out. Mm -hmm. And then it's a time change. They're behind us, right? Uh, I think. I'm pretty sure yeah, the yeah, yeah, they are. Yeah, yeah. We in the future. <laughs> like the live, y'all. You said, do I do, did I do a TikTok? No, I didn't do a TikTok. I'm sorry. I didn't do a TikTok. I'm actually happy I get to go home now after this. Wait, was that you who we was beating and I was beating hella fast and you were like, damn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let me see it. Oop, sorry. Okay, period. So you can see, like you can get a lot more beads on here than an actual beater. So we're gonna stop right there. So basically what you're gonna do is like, I like to cut off the excess string because we don't need all of this extra string. Y'all can't see it, but it's heck along. So I'm actually gonna cut it right here. Oh, snap, there we go. Okay, so this is what we have. And then basically I'm gonna tie a loop right here. Okay, so you wanna tie a knot. And it doesn't have to be hecka big, but you want it to be big enough to like fit hair through. So it'll be just like that. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is I'll take the braid, I'll put it inside that loop. And then she wants three beads, you should do four. Okay. She's going to get four beads on each one. So you just slide the beads up and then boom, you're ready to go. So that's how you do it with a string. So people like to do this because obviously you can fit more beads on here. It's quicker. Um, sometimes I use a beater if I don't have like that many braids. But yep. Or like honestly, people just be losing the beaters. I feel like they're hella easy to lose. That's why I got like 10 of them. So if you ever lose it and all you have is string, you could do this with string. One, two, three, four. Y'all, whenever I'm doing beads, I, I don't know why I be feeling like I like to do an even number. The odd be throwing me. Let me drop y'all down. Let me drop y'all down some more.
So I'm gonna put all these on so that way if I need her to load more, not them coming for me. Look who in labor. You ever be hella wanting to know what they going to? Mm hmm All the time. Hella nosy. I be hella wanting to know. You said 10.07 and it's 9.27 in Jamaica. That's where I'm trying to go. <laughs> oh, that was a fire truck, not an ambulance. Isn't it the same thing? They always come together, right? Yeah, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like mind your business, nosy. I didn't call for no fire truck. Are, they must be trained to um, do both. I think so. And then the police be like following. Like they could at least do some CPR. Yeah. Because I feel like they always come. So yeah, I'm going to need more. But that's cool. You could do this while I... Boom. And y'all, this is regular string that you use for like a sewing. Two, three, four. Oh, you put the perfect amount for um beads. Okay. Here you go. So just put it like just stick the loop through there. Just stick it through what? Yeah, uh, just stick the beads like through all. Oh, that. gotcha. You know what gotcha. I mean? Yeah, yeah. She said, huh? <laughs> she said, stick it through what? Through who? All right, I'm talking to y'all now. Let me see if I can drop this light down. No, it's kind of hard to see. There y'all go. I'm from Jamaica, but I live in Baltimore. Okay. Good line. You know you're from Baltimore. Don't be trying to make yourself. Nah, I'm just kidding. Jamaica. That's what's up. That's one place I really want to go on my bucket list. You never been mm -mm. to Jamaica? Me either. I'm going to, uh, where am I about to go? I'm about to go to, I think I'm going to, where am I going? I think I'm going to, <laughs> wait, no, my, I'm going Dominican. I'm about to go to the Dominican Ooh, Republic. There you go. You said Jamaica gang. Where you at? Stand up. Yep, I'm about to go to the Dominican Republic. Anybody in here from there? I'm going in September. Okay, you was just okay, big you was out here. I know. I'm going to Hawaii in August. I'm Ooh, going there in September. November, I'm going to Maryland. I might have to. I might have to do a couple clients out there. I'm for sure gonna hit up me on the hair. I did knowledge box braids with beads on myself for the first time. They came out great. Always room for improvement, though. That's what's up, and that's a great attitude to have. There's always room for improvement at any level, but the fact that you could do that on yourself is dope. I'm about to try to do them on myself. We'll see what happens. Ooh, you want to do my hair in November? Yes, I do, actually. I might uh, I might have to slide on a couple clients. Dre said y'all ghetto out there. They said they might try to jump you. <laughs> I said jump who? Cause I know MMA. I watched a couple YouTube videos, baby. Try me. Same, I just did my own too. That's what's up. Will you visit St. Lucia? I hope to. Come to the rack. Uh-uh. That sound ghetto. She said D-A-R-A-Q. I don't know where that is. What is that? Oh, Chicago? Mm -hmm. Okay, why you gotta call it the, the <laughs> rack? Like just say Chicago. <laughs> Dre really be talking hella mess, bro. He be like, the girls out there, they don't care. I'm like, bro, and I don't care either. What the fuck? <laughs> like, and you think I, you think I care? He be telling me, he be telling me about girls from DC. He be like, they're like, he be like, they're like men. That's what they call it sometimes, direct. I said, uh-uh. Not <laughs> you trying to get me shot up? <laughs> no, Chicago is hot right now with all these rappers. I'm I'm cool. Are you vlogging the trips? Yes, I am. I am. You said, can we book now for November? <laughs> I know. I honestly like. I really am gonna do people's hair when I'm out there because why not? I think it would be fun. I might do y'all for free too. Actually, no. I didn't say that because now y'all finna be trying to book. <laughs> Panna, you said I might be broke in November. So actually, never mind. <laughs> You said, want to do my knowledge before I give birth? Yes. Where are you at? Actually, congratulations on your baby because I remember you saying that. You just like slipped that in casually. Congratulations on your pregnancy. You've been on my channel for a minute. So congrats. Let me know when you drop your registry. I would love to send you something. That's hella exciting and dope. All right. Let me see. Let me see how far you got. Okay. I'm impressed. Okay. 
Yeah. Y'all, she be beating hella slow, <laughs> but this, but I'm impressed. Was you trying to go hella fast? Yeah. Were you trying? I was. I was. <laughs> you was like she. No, because cr- one time I was, <laughs> I was trying to put on there. You were going so quick. <laughs> I'm trying to fill up the beat. I was like, oh my goodness. She's like, how are you so fast? Oh my God. Girl, I do this. I'm impressed. You almost filled up the whole thing. That's what's up. Yeah. If y'all client don't help y'all be, you charge extra $20. <laughs> just a mental note. <laughs> it's a beating fee. No, I'm just kidding. Don't do that. I should make that a TikTok. I charged her an extra fifty dollars. <laughs> that new TikTok voice gets on my nerves. She's hella happy and jolly. Really you know what I'm talking mm-hmm. about? Yeah. She sounds so happy. Like girl. Ugh, I hate reopening this loop. The pink is a hit. You got any pink outfits? I think I like one. You need to make that like five. <laughs> these got a hit, sis. Are we almost out of bees? Okay, no. No, we have enough. Okay. How you know we have enough? You can't even see. <laughs> yeah. Look. I'm hoping. Look, we have enough. <laughs> you can't even see how many birds. You stupid. We good. <laughs> oh, I cannot. Love my clients, y'all. Love my clients. Tasha is a hippo. What? What? <laughs> what are y'all talking about? <sighs> okay. You need more? Yep. We almost there though. Uh, on and on we push. Oh, ladybug into the thick of it. Into the thick of it. <laughs> what is that from? It's from Backyard Games, right? Oh, I didn't even know. That, okay, yeah. But know. why is that, like, trending right now? I like, know. why is that a thing? Do y'all know? Because it's just... Okay. They be dancing. Did you see the one where they made it Meg the Stallion? Okay. It was, like, into the... It was, like, real hot girl shit. Into the thick of it. Ah! Into the thick of it. I said, this low-key a bop. Is it that song? Nah, it's like Meg. It has to be Meg. Is that? It's a TikTok? Nah. It's just them talking shit about her per usual. Why they be doing that? Why exactly. they be doing that? Why? Why do you want her to I'm so like glad I'm not like a m- musician. I'm like, yeah. Because I will be on the shade room every wrong. day clapping back. I got to show you this. Oh my God. Okay, so. You know how people be like, oh, damn, I don't got my own other phone. Are you on my spam page on Instagram? Uh-uh. Ugh, fake. Fake much? Okay, well, Do you I have a spam? Get, uh, I don't get Instagram that much. That's really why I'm not. Oh, yeah, you don't. Whatever. Okay, you get a pass. Yeah, of course. What's up, Brooklyn? What kind of bead is that? Uh, Sorry, I cut the top off. I don't even know if I can answer that. I cut the top off the package. I want my hair done like that. Then I don't care. Period. She said, I want my hair done. I don't care. Y'all be so southern. <laughs> What's your spam page? It's dope ass spammer. S P A M M A. Oh, that's cute. Oh, what type of beater is that? It's a, it's a piece of string. I just wanted to show y'all how to be with string because I feel like I don't never show y'all how to be without string, but. Sis. Oh, there's bees under that. Okay. Mm-hmm. I was about to say, we run in love, sis. <laughs> no, we don't make it. We gonna make it. Dope ass, no, spamma. Like, S D O P E A X X. Like, like my YouTube name. But instead of Panna, it's S P A M M A. Dope ass spamma. I feel like I don't really post on, on there all the time, but I'm about to start posting on there because it'd be stuff I want to post, but I just can't post it. Yeah, like that. Like Manda said. Yep, yep, that's it. You got it, you got it. Oh, 
Okay, let's see how far you got. Why are you searching? That's too specky a list. <laughs> you shouldn't have been searching for Meg the Stout. Really? Did you find one. it? No. That was good. We'll look for it though. You didn't find it? No, I don't know why. Like, I hate that okay. when you're looking for something. Oh, okay. And you can't find it. See, this is it? Mm -hmm. Nobody at all, Meg. You know she be doing her tea. She be doing that? Yeah, you, you ain't seen her smile. It says nobody. Oh, y'all can't see it. It says nobody, Meg. She be smiling like that? Yeah. I don't follow her like that. I'm going to show you another of her smiles so that you can see. Not with them talking about my sis, though. Like, what? Because we could fight <laughs> if we need to. Nah, like, I, makeup styling is cool, but I always be, like, kind of weary about girls who can't keep girlfriends. Like, does that make sense? Oh, like, if you a yeah, girl yeah, and, yeah, like, yeah, you know yeah, the, the yeah. girls that be like, I don't have girls that, yeah. I don't have friends that are girls. Yeah. Like, that's kind of suspect to me. Because, like, why you mean, can't get along with No, nobody? like, any girls is weird. It's like... Yeah, it's like you can't get along with nobody. Sis. Yeah, exactly. That's kind of... It don't make sense, to be honest, if you ask me. Yeah, so I'd be kind of like... When yeah. she be, like, falling out with her friends, I'd be mm -hmm. kind of, like, side-eyeing, like, mm. Yeah. Why is it you always got an issue? But, but as far as her music, I like her, and I think she's beautiful. Period. Penny, that braid only has three beads. Stop calling me out. Okay. okay. <laughs> Okay. What you're not gonna do? <laughs> nah, no. I'm gonna put. Um, you want me to put more beads on the string? Huh? You want me to put more beads on the string? Yeah. Hold on. I just need to put more on these. A couple of these. Not what you trying to hold me accountable. Like, what? how you know <laughs> I didn't want to trick my sis? Damn. Okay. Here. <laughs> not what y'all. No, I don't think he shot her. I'm sorry, and I just really don't. It's like as I like I do want to believe her, but like sorry, I just feel I like you would be in jail. Like it's just it's not making sense. It's not. I don't think you did. But that's heck of old. Yeah. But I really don't, and I'm like a Tory Lanez fan, and I just really it don't. It's not adding up for me. It's not adding up for me either. It's not. It's just the whole situation was real weird. He would have been in jail. Like what are you talking about? And he's black. Like come on. Well, he would have been done with. You would have been done with. So, females nowadays just about drama and jealousy, you know, on God. That's why I'm glad I have, like, real friends. None of my friends, like, it doesn't matter what I do and what I accomplish in life and, like, where they're at in life. Like, they could be, like, in the shittiest of positions or vice versa. Like, I've been in shitty positions before and still was able to hype my friends up. Like, that's how all, all my whole friend group is. Like, we don't hate on each other. Mm -hmm. but also like i'm not no beyonce for them yeah. to be hating but you know yeah. like i'm sure it's different when you get to that pay grade but i just like i hate that about females i just became a fan of lapido song called feeling i don't even know who that is never heard of him i probably have heard the song come to la girl i'm moving to la july 1st yeah, that's one thing I love. I only have one best friend because all my other friends will talk about talk to my boyfriends behind your back. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> Jessica, you should have about ten teardrops because I wish a, <laughs> I wish it. No, I'm just kidding. But that's how it's shady. Yeah, that's not your friends, baby girl. Like what? You could be my friend. I would never talk to your boyfriend, especially as fine as my man is. Mm. No, I'm just kidding, Drake. Who? But I would never. Um, that's messed up like why there's so many men in the world really like why do i want y'all crusty ass man i'm not calling y'all man crusty but i'm just saying like why would do i want that when there's hella different dudes in the world one two three four five six seven we need what seven times four 28 more oh you definitely got 28 i think okay I let me see oh yeah we did okay, okay yeah this might be the last one that's crazy. Oh, my God, Jessica. You just made me want to be your friend even more. You know, I like being friends with people who, like, like they haven't had, like, good friendships. Yeah. Like, you know, like, I like to be, like, a good friend to them. Does that make sense? Yeah, I know exactly what you mean. It's like, uh-uh. Like, what the heck? 
But then sometimes you be friends with them people and then you be like, oh, I see why. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so Jessica, I don't know. It might be you. But no, I'm just kidding. I'm just, I, you know, I'm, you know, I be joking. I'm just kidding. But sometimes it do be that way. Like I've been friends with people that like, I'll be like, damn, them girls did her shady. And then like, I'll be friends with her and be like, oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Now I see why. Nobody like your crusty ass. But yeah, I just like to be cool with people. But that's, oh my God. Maybe my boyfriends was ugly because nobody really ever used to be trying to talk to them. So maybe that's what it is. Stop dating them cute dudes that everybody wants. You got to get them mud ducks. <laughs> like nobody wants you but me. So you ain't cheating. <laughs> I know that. Shoot, that's what you ain't doing. You ain't cheating, boo. Y'all be going for them Chris Browns and shit. That's why y'all be, that's why that be happening. You got to get you a Trinidad James or something. A fucking soldier boy. Actually, do people be wanting soldier boys? <laughs> I don't. I don't know who does, but. He looks not great. We just going to say that. Yeah. Okay, here. Maybe do like two more. Okay. And I think we did. Soldier boy. No, for real. That's why I dated a couple cute dudes though, but they just it's like you can't think you cuter than me. That's mm-hmm. not <laughs> like I be hating that. Like the dudes that know they cute. Yeah, it's hard. And then they be like, What females? Bitch, all them females in your fucking DMs. I'm not stupid. Like you think I'm dumb? I went through your text messages, stupid. I don't be saying that, but that's what I be thinking. What females? All them damn females. Like what? Or, like, I dated this guy. This is why I said I don't like guys from New York. I dated this guy from New York, and he was talking about, yeah, if I ever get married, um, their girl's going to have to propose to me. I said, Ert. I said, oh, yeah. You're you're about to be single for a minute. What strong-ass woman is going to get on her one knee? I'm not going to fuck up my pant leg trying to propose to your crusty ass. Get a hole in my goddamn drink, jeans trying to propose to you. The hell? Y'all, you been seeing that trend? Like, I, th- I feel proposing? like it's fake. Yeah, a female proposing. not. That's a thing? Don't we? Well, I I've seen that. all the pictures of yeah, it, but yeah, I feel yeah, like... Yeah, yeah, I have, I have. I have. Right. right, right, wife snatcher. I know you fucking like... I'm not finna get... I'm not finna scuff up my leggings getting down on one knee <laughs> for no grown-ass man. You better stop playing with me. Period. Shit, we finna be... Look, we finna be together forever. We ain't finna be married, though. Because that's what I'm not gonna do. That's just not even right. It don't even look right or seem right. <laughs> what the hell? Then I got to tell my kids I did that goofy ass shit when I get older. Oh, hell no. Yeah, I got on one knee for your father. Oh, hell no. Uh-uh. <laughs> oh, hell no. I know you fucking lie. <sighs> Chrissy did that with Jim Jones. Did she start that shit? I didn't used to watch Love and Hip Hop back then, but why would she do that? Did they get married? Are they married? Chrissy and Jim Jones? One, two. Did you watch Love and Hip Hop, Katie? Like some. It was like hit or miss. Like, oh, we good. It's, oh, no, we not. I just found one. Look. Don't worry, because. <laughs> <laughs> I just found one. I almost left you out. Look, I almost left this one, y'all. <laughs> Love the hair. Thank you. They're not married yet. Okay. They're not getting married. Because that was hella years ago. Like, what you mean yet? They got, I feel like that was like hella years ago. Can you do one in slow motion? I want to see how you wrap it. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I did be moving. Okay. This is the last one. So, I took the end of the braid. You can see this. Why is this blurry? Hold on. Let me wipe y'all off. Okay. We in HD now. Okay. <laughs> no, I don't know why it looks like this, though. It looks it looks kind of weird. But, okay. So, this is the end of it. I'm going to fold the bottom of the braid up. And then I'm going to wrap. This is the rubber band. I'm going to wrap it around the last beat. So, I'll put it on there. Twist it. Wrap it around. Twist it. Wrap it around, twist it, and I'll just keep doing that until I run out of rubber band. 
I'm just like super fast because I've been doing it so long now that I could like do it fast. And then once it's like tight on there, it'll look like that. And you're just gonna cut off this excess. Where are my scissors? Oh, right here. So you're gonna cut that off and then the rest of the beads will fall right over that little spot. And you're good. That's it. All right. Into the thick of it. Dang, now you got that stuck in my head. You played I it? didn't do that, no. Oh. Where you did we go? Where did we come from? I don't even know where it came from. We were both saying it, so. Oh, really? Maybe I started singing it on my own. <laughs> Look, me blaming you. Really? Okay, she's late. Sorry, y'all. I'm just, oh, sorry. I can't even see. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just touching up her edges. Let's see. Do the thick of it. I'm not even surprised you do edges. I don't know why I'd, I'd be, I used to think you were like hella plain Jane. I feel like, I don't know. As, as like I've worn braids more, you know, like it's less now. You like try to do more with yeah. them. Mm -hmm. You be actually styling them and stuff too. Not hella, but like like simple. You do something simple. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I'm loving it. I'm liking it. All right, let's see you stand up. Let me see you put your hands. Now that means it's a, it's a click clacking. Okay. It's a click clacking. Okay. Hey, it's okay, cute. Oh, I like them. Okay, vacation vibe. Okay. They actually stop at the perfect spot too. They I actually never said do. They were I know. Good. I thought they were going to be short when no, you were sitting down. No, it's a good size too. Yeah. Nice. Okay. 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 Turn to the front. Three beads. Turn. Four, right? Oh. Mm -hmm. We got three. It's four on most of them. It's four on all of them. Oh, okay. So I thought I was like. Oh. Is this what y'all talking about? Cause y'all got me messed up. That's one braid, braid bruh. You can't even tell. <laughs> no, you cannot even tell. Okay, well I love it. It looks so nice. Yeah, I love it too. I really like it's it. Good. Thank you. You're welcome, boo. Into the thick of it. Alright, now y'all gotta watch me clean my room. Now what y'all coming? Huh? Can you sweep some of it? Now you good. Are you sure? Yeah. It's fine. Thank you though. Well, thank you, buddy. Best. Just um check your feet when you walk out so you're not dragging hair through here. Yeah. All right, boo. Have okay, fun. Girl, so I'm gonna be showing pictures. Period. Oh, I'll wait some house. Okay, wait. Bye. I'm gonna call y'all back later because I gotta uh I gotta what's it called um I gotta take pictures of her hair for this yeah, thumbnail. Yeah, let's nice, take some pictures. So. Um, let me take some pictures. Yeah. Um, her hair was not $300. It was actually $3.99. So, while you talking, yeah, you're mad. <laughs> they say, how tall is she? How tall are you? Five, she gotta be like six feet. Five, seven? seven? Yeah. Oh, come over here. I'm gonna take a couple pictures of her, y'all. Just a couple. What kind of phone you got? Can I um, use your phone? Yeah. Okay. You got a 12? Uh, 11. 11? Oh, okay, that works. You could do portrait. 
I want those shoes hella bad. They look hella comfy. Let me see. Oh, yeah, that's cute. Okay, hold on. You got the shirt from Fashion Nova? Forever 21. Oh, that's cute. Mm -hmm. I'll be hella wondering, like, what life would be like if she was still alive. You be thinking that? Like, if she would I be. Do. Yes. This edge was hella done. Hold on. This is one of them. <laughs> it looks like it's like. Sorry, y'all. I had to fix. Oh, y'all can't even see. I had to fix her edge because I just wasn't feeling it. If I say edge, like one little piece. <laughs> yes. Hella cute. Look at her. You want to do some from behind? Um, yeah. Go to the back. Sorry, you just know I'm short, huh? With that I'm, lean I'm back. I'll be telling you. I'm like. <laughs> Oh, that's actually perfect. Good. Okay, this one you definitely gonna have to. Perfect. Okay, send those to me. Okay. Um, which phone number am I send it to? The three one three. Actually, it doesn't really matter. You can send it to either one. Alright, have fun on your vacation. Thanks, girl. I will. I will send you all the photos. Girl. You know Emily gonna be No, Emily gonna be a snapping. So I'm already knowing. Alright, bye boo. Bye. Alright, y'all. Thanks so much for watching our live. Um, I'm about to clean up my room. I'm gonna go live on TikTok. Love y'all. Don't forget to hit the like button as you guys exit. And next time, I swear to God. Um Next time, I swear, I'll be live with China and them, okay? So, next time you see me hit that live button, you don't want to miss it because I'm going to be live with China and Numani doing doo-doo-doos for the free because why not? It's been a minute. So, yeah.